Hello everyone and welcome to July's Pod of War. I'm your Fizzle and I'm joined as always by Matt of Africa and Kelly. I'm not doing the joke, we've done the jokes. Hello everyone. So you've just got to ruin every podcast. With every podcast, the joke. So we're here, we're back after our E3 predictions and we've got some of them right and some of them wrong. Mm. Um, how are you, Chris? Are you okay? I'm not too bad at all. Good, good. Well, no, it's incredibly hot in England right now, so we are going to start off with hot news off the press of like two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a lot. It's a while ago now. Because we're too busy. But we're going to talk about E3. So I suppose we'll do it in conference order. Mm. So EA Play. Yeah. How would you think of EA? Um, do you remember anything from EA? Yeah, the only thing I really remember is what I could see on your screen was Anthem, but it closed out of the show because it was pretty much sports like normal. The story mode in Madden NFL 18 is interesting. It's the Journey Madden edition. No, but apparently you don't play any football. Oh, really? Yeah. It that seems weird. It's apparently really quite like a tell game. Tell game. It oh. made Tell oh, Madden. That's actually quite interesting. Yeah. Again, I'm not buying Madden, but no. when it comes to EA Access, I'll play it. Mm. Yeah. And they also announced A Way Out. Oh, yes. Which is the co-op game from the team that made Brothers Tale mm. Two Sons, which looks amazing. Yeah. And I will be playing that. Uh, but yeah, Anthem was the main thing, the main draw, that and Battle, Battlefront 2, sorry. Yeah. And that looked really good, I'll it be honest with you. Good, it does look good, but I, when I played bits of the first one, I just found combat boring. I mean, I right now Titanfall is kind of my shooter, so if I stop playing Titanfall by then, maybe. Mm-hmm. I'd play it for the single player, but again, I can just play the single player on E-Access for 10 hours mm-hmm. and be done with it. So, um, But Anthem yeah. looked interesting, they didn't actually show a lot, but EA Play, they just showed the trailer and mm-hmm. promised of more. At the Xbox, mm. which will be the first, which will be step one of how to confuse consumers, mm. and we'll talk about that later on when we get to the other yes. boxes. But overall, I think EA was okay. Mm. Didn't show anything exciting, really. Need to mm. Speed looks like Fast and Furious more than it ever has. Yeah. Um. But yeah, why is it gonna be on a Saturday? Like a six day. I know the people that were going, they were really annoyed. Like people like IGN, which is like mm. great, we've got to go an extra day, but. That's yeah, they didn't do London this year. Last year, no, they, they didn't do London. London. That's because Peter Moore doesn't work there anymore. Mm. Because he's running Liverpool Football Club. Yeah. Which is weird. But okay, so that was EA. Really uh, short. This is wrong, because the next one was, wasn't Bethesda next, not Xbox. They, they've just got it on mm. times. You're just being pedantic. Okay. But it was Bethesda, so we'll talk about Bethesda. Yeah. Do you remember Bethesda? Yeah, I quite like Bethesda. A lot of people were saying they didn't show anything new or anything like that. It just wasn't predictable. And pretty much they did the Nintendo Direct. They showed a 30 minute. Video. Tri- video. Yeah. Like Pete Hines comes out. Here's what we got. Bye, I'm Pete Hines. Have fun. Yeah. Uh, e um, E3. But they showed some stuff like I'm really looking forward to this on the outside. I like both the games. Really game. It's a physical release. Yeah, and it's like eighteen quid. Yeah. Right. Mm. I've been yeah, be couple 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 hours yeah, gameplay all of that. Evil Within two looks really good. It looks like the trailer is so a mechanic game. But I haven't played the first one, so don't know if I can jump right into the second one without playing the first. That is crap. You should play the first because it's not expensive. No, everyone says I like, would really like it because I like it's resident, proper it's resident. I like proper it really resident. is resident evil. Um, so I went for that. Wolfenstein 2 looked really good. Total game. If you played it in order, I played a bit of it in order. I, basically, the, 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 like, the four hour tutorial. Which is like the worst bit of the game. Yeah, yeah and yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, but I. Like, I, I, what's the fuss about this game? Yeah, it was great. Once you get past the initial yeah. getting your team, um, it's a great game. Skyrim looked really good for the Switch version. Looked okay graphically, it doesn't look great, but it looks really interesting. With like they're try, at least they're trying something. With the motion trials, I mean, that no the, one will use. No one will use, but at least they're yeah. trying to use the Switch features and like the Amiibo support of Link and that. And yeah, that like and that. Actually, I've never played Skyrim, which is really like which is weird. weird. Yeah, because I've, I played Morrowind and I've played Oblivion. And I've uh, you know, finished both of them, really like yeah. uh, both of them. So I'm, I'm kind of tempted to play it now, but I'm not sure if I'll play it on Switch or PS4. Like if I, now <sighs> PS4 is cheaper. Obviously, I have Pro support as well. So I'm like, I, have control. I mean, I, I would recommend it. But trophies. I'd recommend it for PlayStation, mm-hmm. but I can see why people would want it on Switch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's obviously support third party on Switch. Blah, blah, blah. Probably also like PSVR. Um, yeah, um, on no, that's a separate game. Is it separate? Is it? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Lol, because they did show Doom VR and yeah. Fallout VR at this. Um, Doom VR looked really good. Mm-hmm. Fallout VR looks crap, mm-hmm. but I don't really like Fallout. So I and I know until they fix a way to actually move in VR, mm-hmm. uh, the whole pointing direction doesn't work for a lot of games. I think it did work for Doom because of how visceral it is. Mm-hmm. But 
Um, I mean, yeah, they, they kind of just showed everything you ever expected. Yeah, everyone expecting you could Good video. Yeah. Good photo yeah. video. Well yeah. done. So, well for, for, for they, basically, they came around like, this is our games. Bethesda has always been a weird studio for me because I like the song that. Then, um, I can't, I won't play the new Brain by our time. So it's Bioshock. Yeah, because I, like Bioshock, I like Bioshock, Bioshock and I like that studio as well. Yeah. I like what Be- Bethesda's like studios they own or they publish or whatever, something like that. And I don't really like their own games. Like, I don't like Fallout at all. Um, right. But they were like, yeah, this is what we got. And they were like, yeah, I do want to play your games. I might pick up, I've not played Doom. Yeah, I can pick that up for eight, eight quid new, whatever. I'm like, yeah, I might play that now. You um, sort of sold me on it. Which yeah. is kind of the job, I think, of the government. Yeah, I mean, they, they are, they're, 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 they're a small referred pie. They're still building up mm. to get anywhere near the big ones. Mm. But they, they, they make a certain type of game, mm. generally quite polished. You don't really get too many um, stories of the thing. Broken, like you get glitches. Well, we do you actually get the best of games. Well, yeah, but like, <laughs> those games, games, those games are always well. going to be glitchy. But you never get, you never get like well, Ubisoft something. levels. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And, they, and those games are different enough. Mm. And that's the big problem with Ubisoft, and we'll get to Ubisoft later. Um, but that's you know that's just kind of if that was the first point. It was really short. There wasn't much really to talk about. There was a couple couple announcements, mm. but again, like you said, they were mostly sequels or extensions. But um. Right, we're gonna we're gonna change what I just said because I've just realised my mistake by mm. saying do it in order. So we're gonna do Ubisoft and yeah. then we're gonna do the big three. Yeah. Um. So Ubisoft had a very split down the middle in terms of reaction. Mm. I personally thought it was really good. Mm. I know people that thought it was the worst. Mm. Um. So obviously to begin with, they had Eve's, Eve's Gilmore come out. Yeah. And um, with Miyamoto talk about Rabbids and uh, the Italian man who made the game very emotional and proud. That game looks surprisingly good. It does look we knew about it going in. We knew it was leaked. Yeah, I knew what the game going um, in. I was like, this is not going to be good. It looks, look, it looks great. Don't let Ubisoft near Mario. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, it turned out to be the most probably the unique, most unique game they showed mm-hmm. really. Um, but um, it's XCOM. It's Mario XCOM. Yeah. Um, on the go, looks polished. Looks good. Not much else to say about it. I mean, the minions are still annoying. Mm-hmm. Like the minions, ha, the, the rabbits. rabbits. They are the same thing. I know. The same. I know the rabbits came first. Going inside the but... Um, I feel bad for Rayman. I feel like Rayman should be in that. Mm. Okay. Uh, but again, it looked really fun. It was, it was a really fun opening. Um, I think they moved into the Crew 2, which looks pointless. Yeah, um, Crew 2 is basically... Oh, I don't get why that's coming out this year. That's going to die. It's going to die. I mean, the first because one didn't like, do well. racing games this year was, like, stupid. If you like racing games, there's, like, so many... To keep yeah, like, just, you're not going to get anywhere. Like, even for the arcade games they're going for, you're not going to get close to need for speed for numbers. Yeah. So and then you then you t- before we even talk about GT Sport, Forza, uh, Project Cars Two, mm. Dirt Four, you know what I mean? Like before you even get into those, like you didn't get anywhere near like yeah. you know. So that's strange. Um, and then they went into Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Um, which looks good, mm. but it looks like Assassin's Creed. Mm. Um, the setting I loved, but that's kind of always the thing I like mm. about Assassin's Creed. Yeah. It still looks like it plays like Assassin's Creed, which is the problem. And again, we're gonna get into this. I, I've got a friend I'm gonna talk about at the end of this this conference. Um, so next they showed Transference, mm. <laughs> which wasn't it didn't show anything. It was just Elijah Wood. Oh uh, yeah, um, so I was thinking, what the hell are you? It was not... just an Elijah Wood trailer about a VR game. There was like no concept. There's no game yeah. in it. it was, like cool. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, I know... Did you show some else VR after that? Uh, no, they showed. Um... They definitely showed two VR things. I can't remember. Yeah. I thought because the other the other weird one they showed was um, Starlink. Yeah, but, but they think... definitely showed something else VR. I'm pretty sure they did. Well, whatever it was, it didn't leave a, it didn't leave an opinion on us, did it? So yeah. it can't have been that great. They showed Steep DLC for the Olympics. Yeah. Great. No one bought Steep. Uh, if it comes in a decent bundle physically on Switch, people might yeah, pick it up. Yeah, but the rumours are that they can't get the Switch version running. No. When I saw the game, I said I'd be surprised if it did. Um, oh, you derailed me then. What we have next? We have Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones, which was the Pirate Pirates bit from Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Looks fun. I know people. But you can't, really... you can't get out of the boat. No, it's boat. It's all it's boat. It's boat for PvP. It's basically boat for honor. Yeah. Um, I've got, I know some people that are really excited about that, so cool. I mean, I, it, doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Mm. There's enough multi, multi, multiplayer games, you know what I mean? There's enough PvP multiplayer games but it's, to play. I don't think it's, it is different. It is different, but, it, boats, you know, if you like the boats, boats, great. If you don't like boats, then that's not going to change over the boats. Um, and then they went into Far Cry 5, which yeah. looks crap. Far Cry 5 looks like... Oh, Just... you... The thing I got with Ubisoft, they do these other things like the Mario and Rapids. But if you think Ubisoft, they're all pretty much mm-hmm. the same. You play as a dude, you go off a tower, you open up some axe, you go kill kill something, 
you get some XP, you repeat, and you kill some bad guys. That's like, well, that was what I was going to say. Is like, they, well, they got rid of the powers, apparently. This right? is the most conference for that. Mm-hmm. Like, because you, you've got the the other way. It's like, it's like they're building one big game. Mm-hmm. So, like, the crew and Steep just were like, oh, here's some mm-hmm. stuff. And we're going to put some stuff in a world. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of it. Like, there's no real mm-hmm. feel. There's no soul to those games. Mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed is just rehashed all like, and they've had an extra year, and it oh. still looks kind of like the same. I mean, I, I kind of want to buy it because it's Egypt, mm. but it still looks like the same game. Yeah. And Far Cry, I mean, god damn. Somebody put someone who's uneducated, right? A trailer for that, and a trailer for Ghost, um, Recon Wildlands, and, yeah. tell, and tell them it's two different games because mm. the settings are so similar. Yeah. I know one's first person, but the fact you've got all these co-op stuff. Mm. It just doesn't seem, you know, I'm mean, sure the game will be great because all the Far Cry games play great. You know, I personally prefer the ones before three. Mm. I think three is the best one, but two and one are actually really good games. And since three, they've all been three. You know what I mean? Like four was three. Yeah. Primal was three in the past. Yeah. And this just looks like three with Ghost Recon. Yeah. So that's great. You know, whatever. Like they're not games that me and you replay, so yeah. we're not going to really go too deep into the into any information about them. And um, then it was Starlink, yeah. which is very weird. That they're doing a Toys to Life game yeah. in 27, 12, 2018, probably. Um, it looks really funky. Like it looks actually looks quite fun. Yeah. Um, the game the game looks quite fun. The yeah. models look all right. Yeah. Just the way they stick on the controller. Yeah. Does does concern me. Um, because I would I would imagine the reason for that is they obviously need some sort of power supply maybe. Mm. But like it just doesn't seem intuitive at all. So mm. we'll see you about that. Um, I don't really know what to make of it, but they, they, they didn't really show a lot. They had like a trailer, it looked okay, it looked fine. See, and then that's the thing, it's like, oh, the, all dual Shock 4 is the same, or all Xbox One controllers are the same. Like, it's well, coming third parties. And, yeah, stuff you know. but it's coming on the Switch, you've got so many options out of the box, even. Like, you're going to put, you put in, like, portable mode. Yeah, how, how are you going to play that handheld? Well, how, how are you going to play that on the Pro you put Controller? You're playing Brick, or you're playing Pro or Controller. Or whatever, like, yeah. like, it doesn't come with, like, a bit that, like, Adjust like up and down. What does it come? Does it come with a charging bit in the middle of that hat you have to mm. plug it into? Because mm. you know, but again, it doesn't. There wasn't enough information to really judge it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I don't think there was anything else. Was there? No. Nah. There was nothing yeah. else. Yeah. No, there was no. There was no announcements. So yeah. we can just move on. Yeah. <laughs> you might have uh, won predictions because of. Well, there might have been a prediction that I nailed and said yeah. that finally they were going to do. Um, yeah. So they did. They did show another trailer for Beyond Good Evil Two. Yep. Um, it was completely different to the previous trailer. It's now a prequel. Um, it's now like going to be like R rated by the looks of it because there's a lot yeah. of swearing. Yeah. Um, but they they're going to come out and uh, cry about it, and then yeah. they showed uh, a playthrough of the, of, the, of, the, yeah. of the engine. Yeah. Looks a lot further ahead than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Which is great, and they're doing the Space Monkey program for, yeah. which isn't for backing. Is I know people a lot of people confuse it with like Kickstarter. It's not. It's just for feedback. Yeah. Um, they've said it's going to have like your, your multiplayer and things. Um, I'm I'm interested. It doesn't it doesn't hey. look like. Beyond Good Evil, no. in terms of what it's going to play like. Yeah. So yeah, they sound like it sounds modern. Which yeah, Beyond Good Evil is not. You look at I'm going to bring up No Man's Sky. Yeah. You look at No Man's Sky. Don't speak that in here. And everyone how, should listen to me, by the way, Carl. And <laughs> like, how about we showing like all this ambition, like all oh, these worlds are going to be, like, yeah. and it's always going to be different. And now you're looking at Beyond Good Evil. Obviously, you've got the financial backing of Ubisoft. They've got my bigger team. As well, and a much more experienced experience. Do you look at it like, yeah, and you, and you hear what Michelle is saying, and it's like, this sounds awfully ambitious. Like, they're going to make all the worlds. This is not going to be generating, like, they're going to make all the worlds. No. And you can go from that world to another world, and you can go from like a coffee shop to another coffee shop, from, like two miles away, and like the weather will affect it, yeah. and like. You can get out of your spaceship anywhere, and you can have mother ships and stuff like that. It sounds like it, it sounds kind of... like Mass Effect on crack. Mm. Um, and to be honest, like Michel Marcel generally has quite a good track record. I think he's ever made a bad game. Pretty much, I don't think he has. Yeah, unless he unless he worked on like he probably was a producer on some shitty license. Yeah, like Pirates of the Caribbean game or something. But like, I trust Michel Marcel mm. enough. I mean, let's be honest. Any any Beyond Good and Evil two is probably better than no Beyond Good and Evil two. Yeah. So, we'll but I would be interested if, like, like you can make this on your own characters. You don't have to be monkey to that the show in trailers and that. Yeah. It could be different in a completely different uh, species. I like the idea of having your own crew. So yeah, but I'm really interested, like, what, like, Beyond Good and Evil is all about, like, the story, and, like, we're talking, like, before, like, it kind of, like, I feel as 
six GameCube quite well because it's Zelda like and yeah. stuff like that. And like this one doesn't seem to have any of that beyond good and evil. I think the problem like, is, why the, we want the another problem, one. The problem with the game is is going to be for people like you in the mm-hmm. same way that you don't like Zelda, like mm-hmm. you don't like Breath of the Wild. Yeah, is it's the, the that style of game is very old. Now. Mm. You just it just doesn't get made. Yeah, it's just, but it's like there's better ways is, of doing I, it. I think this is like slightly different than Zelda because it's like when we come to a game later on and what we've been playing, it's like the people that want this game and be banging on about yeah, it no, like, are the fans of Beyond Good and Evil and then the game well, it, then, I think the tra- I think it looks pretty good so far yeah. and like you said like trust me Shell like, and it most will have a decent story and everything like that because you think of like an online game like an online game like Destiny like there was no story yeah. and so it's interesting the only um, I'm just checking something the only thing I would say is I don't um, think it's sold very well did it which one the first one yeah no so so ridiculously poorly so you've got one release that sold badly yeah. why would you tailor a game for those people mm-hmm. in the modern day yeah. when games have never been more popular yeah you know that would, that would be what I'd say yeah it sound it sold really poorly but Ubisoft did bring it out the same day as Split and So and uh, Prince of Persia they released three games on the same day and one was Prince of Persia one was Prince of Persia and one was the new IP which ones are, which ones are ever going to which ones were ever going to sell yeah and yeah, can't find any numbers, but it does say it's all poorly. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm interested to see what it does. Like again, it's not going to be coming for at least a year, at least probably looking at 2019, mm. middle of 2019 at least, I reckon. So, yeah. um, won't won't be on Switch, <laughs> not a chance. That'll be on um, Xbox One X and PS5. I think. Mm. Could be a PS5 launch time, you know. Yeah, but um, of course that was really Ubisoft. Um, I think overall it was a pretty good conference. Yeah. Um, the only other thing that we didn't, I just remembered, is they had a Just Dance bit where a woman came out and sang for 10 yeah. seconds. So. For people that care and are yeah. counting numbers, right? Yeah. Um. But um. Yeah. Ubisoft does Ubisoft again. They don't change. They will never change. Mm. Um. The problem is all the games are the same. Yeah. So it's apart from like two at the end. Apart from the one that they they got a Nintendo guy working on and one that got the guy that who never has any good seven games. Mm. So yeah. Because even Rayman Rayman didn't do that great. No. Not since like two. Yeah. No. Even I mean Legends has gone out again for Switch, but they're that desperate to get it out on other platforms, but. Hey ho, right, so we'll go into the big three. Yeah. The console manufacturers. Yeah. So the U, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we'll start with the you, Xbox. You, you actually forgot a conference. What conference did I forget? Devolver. Oh, Devolver, that doesn't, that was a joke conference. No, they did have stuff beforehand. Yeah, like, uh, like, yeah. Like, again, I'm an indie guy yeah. and it's cool, it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. And you forgot something else. PC doesn't yeah, count. PC, 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 PC game is dead, so just piss everyone off. Whatever. Like, the, yeah. So we'll start with them. Um, we'll, We'll start with everyone, all, all people who listen to this care about. We'll start with the Xbox. Yeah. Because it's the greatest console. Um, I had a pretty good conference overall. Mm. Some preface. They started with the Scorpio, it's now called the Xbox One X. Yeah. Which the rumour going in was wow, so I'm glad it was X. Um, it fits. It again shows that it's an iteration, it's not a new console. Yeah. Which is what they said all along, so that's fine. Uh, we didn't do the price yet, so we'll get to that. Um, and then they just hit it with games, really. Um. Mm. Lots of timed exclusives. Yeah. Lots of um, because yeah, that was the thing. It was like the whole like they had the announcer and they go Xbox console launch exclusive, and then it'd be Xbox and Windows exclusive, and then it'd be like Xbox two day exclusive, and then it's like Xbox some sort of exclusive. It wasn't quite that extreme, but yeah, yeah, I know. But it was like but, um, they, they showed Xbox. Well, premiere. They showed 22 exclusives. Because that really confused people for Anthem. Yeah, but they had to do it. Yeah. They had to do it. It's the same, it's the same thing we'll give but to you. But you think they would learn from Tomb Raider? No, it's the same thing we'll give to you later, because there is a PlayStation equivalent, and I knew you would bitch about it. So the, we'll, we'll get to it later, because the PlayStation game is exactly the same, and I'm having the exact same online response, because everyone at the moment is thinking that Anthem is an Xbox game. Mm. But it's not, it's on both. And there's, which, a, there's a PlayStation game mm. that people are doing that as well, which is it's not. Yeah. It's not, it's on both. But um, anyway, let's start with Metro. Yeah. Um, Again, looks, I, good. looks looks really good. The, the, not played, that's but definitely not. That's one hundred percent not playable thing. Not yeah. Definitely um, CGI. Mm. Um, looks great. The first two are great games. You get one on Xbox for six pounds. Yeah, they're always they're always, always on sale on PSN. I'm always like tempted, but I'm like I don't know, I can't yeah, games. they're good. They're great games. We haven't played them yet. Then um, looked really fun. Again, I can't remember what the exclusivity of it was. I, I think it was just a world for me. I don't remember. Well, well, I really don't. Yeah, it's it's well. been, it was, it was like, yeah, it's well from there. Um, I should really just get because I think it's on like. Metro's channel and it's got yeah like, um, like PS4 and the Xbox and everywhere at the end or something. 
But um, yeah, the next the next sort of big one, which was a timed exclusive, was Player Unknown's Background, which is a huge get for Microsoft, even though it's timed. Even if it is a week, it is a huge mm-hmm. get because it has it will have crossplay with Windows. Mm-hmm. They're already talking about, which is huge. This mm-hmm. really is that's a huge thing. It's, it's done really well with stuff like Arc. Mm-hmm. It's done really well on Xbox because the people that bought it on Xbox got it for, for Windows as well. And if you have it on Steam, you got it for Windows as well. So. Like having that crossplay for Xbox is great. Mm. Getting out ahead of Sony on that is a really good thing. That game's huge right now. Yeah, that fits their player base. Their player base is the online player. The only player. thing I uh, with a game like that, even if it is content is this how far away or we like if it comes out, let's say in a month's time on Xbox, you're still in like people are still talking about players on um, on the background. If even it comes to the Xbox next year, are people still going to be ta- talking about players? Um, on I, I think they will. I mean, but it's one of those games I think is going to be like a short, like be super successful, which have been like five million something like that sold. in like a month. It'd be like super successful, and then like everyone's like, I think I forgot. I think what I would say about that is, are you playing it? Have you ever played it? No. Am I playing it? No. No. It doesn't we we have no yeah. reference point for yeah. that for games like that? Because yeah. games like that I know so that you quite often see like this game that's like uh, huge on Twitch and like streaming, which player on the ground um, yeah. is and people are watching it. And then suddenly you won't see that game like ever so, again. And like, like, everyone sort of like jumps on the bow wagon and then like, Oh yeah, yeah. This is it. I'm the argument I will like, say is Rainbow Six Siege is a game that didn't yeah. sell very well and still has a much bigger player base on yeah. Twitch than there's any other game. Yeah. So, you know, I think it'll be fine. To, yeah. be, to be honest with you, I think it'll be fine. But hey ho, I think it's a good get for Xbox for sure. Um, they've started showing off some of the um, exclusive stuff they got the chest that should see a fuse again. Looks yeah. great, but it's going to be too much focus for me, I think. But it looks really good, it looks well made. Um, they also show Crackdown uh, 3 with Terry Crews. Mm. Uh, looks way too similar to Agents of Mayhem, which is the problem. I don't think that, I thought it was their fault. I think Agents of Mayhem came out, got announced quite similar, which is the Saints Row guys. Yeah. Um, so those games look quite similar, but again... And I think they've all, they had shown and talked about with mainly multiplayer base again. So that's two games... Which again is the Xbox. Yeah. Well, we've, we've talked about in the past that mm-hmm. Xbox in the last two years have put a lot of PlayStation exclusive games, yeah. really. So you're talking about um, Quantum Quantum Break, X. Recall, mm-hmm. and uh, so, so. Sense of Overdrive. That would have fit better on PlayStation, which is a much more single player based yeah. system. The Xbox thrives with online multiplayer, yeah. so it makes sense for all their games to be yeah. targeting. I mean, then they should obviously, the one we've missed is Forza, yeah. looks incredible in the new game. Yeah. Driving your souls is incredible, showed a new car, great. Um, but like that game was still that game is always the best, one of the best selling games of every year, so yeah. I'm not fussed or worried that Forza's gonna do okay, yeah. We just will. But yeah, I mean, that, you're really starting to notice the big difference between the consoles this year. It's probably the first year I've noticed it anyway. So the Xbox really is, really is focused on multiplayer. Like yeah. Xbox Live makes them their money. Mm-hmm. They've got 20 plus million players that all regularly play. That's great. You know, PlayStation has all this. And we'll talk about it when we get to PlayStation. And we'll talk about the, the second topic. Yeah. PlayStation is really doing a good job of single player right now. Mm. Xbox thinks it's a great job. Multiplayer. Yeah, well, Spen- really where it is, the I thing think. is, Spencer uh, said about the set. Uh, he said, like, he said things like he thinks single player is like dead and it's now irrelevant. He said things similar like this and he said, like, you've got these multiplayer focused games that do are really successful. you got to look at this service based uh, stuff, which you see back from the uh, games. They can get people paying and stuff for them, finding, like, cut, like also buying new new card DLC mm-hmm. or like, TFBs, like a new boat. You get people playing out online, playing, you know, gold and stuff. You know, it kind of makes sense. And you look at Baker, like, an Overwatch, and there's 30 million people playing Overwatch. Yeah. You're like, that's not, not single player, single player. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, they've, they've been smart. They've been really open with cross-play, mm-hmm. which I really like. They're, they're allowing it on everything. Like, the, the big Minecraft thing was that it's cross-play with everything that isn't a PlayStation because mm-hmm. PlayStation don't want to play. Mm-hmm. Fine, whatever. That's what they want to do. Um, You know, so that's great. They're doing a really good job of that. Like, they know they're not stupid. They're not going to catch Sony. In the territories they don't exist, they, there's a reason, you know. They even they even showed some Japanese games. They showed Code Vein and Dragon Ball Fighter Z, which looks, which is probably yeah. going to be one of my sleeper hits of the year. And they showed uh, Black the, Desert Online. Yeah, the they showed, game. Yeah, um, the again, it's an online multiplayer game on the Xbox. They generally do pretty well. And obviously, no Final Fantasy fourteen on Xbox. Not at the moment. Uh, at the moment. I think like, they've they've talked America. about it. They have talked about the it. Problem recently. with it is. It would have to, uh, would have to be cross by PlayStation, PlayStation. Which is PlayStation won't do. Yeah. Which is so this problem. is the same situation with uh, why fourteen didn't come for three sixty because Xbox wouldn't play ball. Yeah. So it swings and roundabouts. Back then 
you know, 14 would have come to 360 and crossplay with PS3, but Xbox didn't want to play ball now, and now it's the same, exactly the same situation. Now. Yeah, and that's, it's it's funny uh, whenever whenever you're in charge, whenever you're winning, yeah. you can make these decisions, can't you? But yeah. hey ho. But I still got this around. weird feeling where if 14 comes to Switch, it will be crossplay with the, um, PlayStation. Yeah. If we, so the Switch for Switch and PlayStation will happen. PlayStation. I and can't. Xbox. I cannot see that game running on Switch. Uh, there's it was runs on PS3. Yeah, I don't just the switch though. The online's the like the mm-hmm. Wi-Fi. Anyway, we'll talk yeah, about that. Cool. Um, Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon, not Dragon Ball, Dragon Quest uh, Ten. Yeah, that's just Japan though. Yeah. It's yeah. You 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 know what, you know what I'm trying yeah. to say. Yeah. Like if, if Dragon Quest comes here, then yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, if 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 Final Fantasy XIV came to Switch, I'll buy it now. Yeah. Like that on the go. Yeah, come on then. Um, but yeah. You play that on the go. What? Being online, well, you can play it like on in the bath. Yeah, that's, right. that's what I say on the go. That's what I mean. I don't think we switch outside. Um, well, you just completely said that. Um, they showed Life is Strange prequel uh, yeah. again. It's cross platform. Yeah. Um, yeah, my platform. Sorry, but yeah. hey, it's nice to see it on a big stage, isn't yeah. it? So Cuphead finally has a date. Yeah. And it's the same date as the SNES Classic, so it's dead. So it's not going to get any sales. That game's dead anyway. I think people. Are, this is what I'm saying about players on. Uh, on, on Grant and oh, no, I can't even say Battleground, it. yeah, Battleground. So people were excited about Cuphead in 2014. It's now 2017. No one is excited about Cuphead. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll buy it mm. um because I like the look of it. Mm. But like you're right, I mean, any mass media, any mass exposure is gone now. Mm. I think unless it's incredible. Yeah, that's it. And, and even then, <laughs> even buy a SNES with like the games that, that SNES has, if you can get one. <laughs> I've got one pre ordered at the top too. Oh, you're so dirty. So you're the like you're the enemy. So everyone that can hear, Ma- at massive das, just abuse, abuse for fucking dirty tactics. But anyway, um, I forgot you did too. I had I had a marginal amount of respect for you, but it's gone. But I do have an NES classic. So yeah. haha. Um, just throw me off the edge. So I'm gonna do this to you all the way through the process. Yeah. Just throw you off. Um, they also showed Anthem. Yeah. Um, which they said in the previous movie show looks like Destiny Titan Full Evolve. Yeah. So that's great. Right. Plus Mass Effect. I don't really know what to say because I uh, people, it looks really people good. are losing it is their shit. Be running on the one apps is really good. The the thing is, I don't think the gameplay looks very good. Mm. I thought the engine looks amazing. Yeah. The characters are pretty cool. Yeah. But the the shooting they showed mm. it looks real generic. Mm. So again. It's so early, and it does feel like they even came out afterwards and said, basically copy and pasted the Destiny marketing lines, like 10 years of Anthem and all this yeah. stuff. Like they literally just like copied it. So that's a bit worrying, but we'll yeah. see. I mean, again, I'm... No, they showed a ton of indie stuff. They showed a lot of indie stuff. A lot the of last good night, looking... Artful Valley, uh, Artful Escape. Basically, what I like from the Xbox uh, conference is basically all the indies. Like, I've done on my own YouTube channel, like, my... Top ten uh, most massive biohouse. Yeah, my mo- top ten um most anticipated Xbox games, and the nine of them are indies, and the tenth one Sea of Thieves, and that's only because it's a rare a title made by rare. Yeah, and it, and again one of the I and think, they're all nearly all single. And the thing, so, sorry, and the thing to point out to people before they yeah. do what I always do in corporate PlayStation fanboy yeah. is that he's not an Xbox guy yeah. at all. So that's that makes sense. I and am an Xbox that, on that Xbox guy. Well, yeah, that, I mean, again, they announced that as well. They announced yeah. backwards compatible with the original Xbox. Yeah. Which is, for me, Which huge. I think is a, a bit sick. Like, Spencer said we, uh, afterwards, he come out and said, oh, we've announced that there's uh, compatibility with the original Xbox. And, like, we've got it on 360. It's a great thing. And it makes up for the lack of single player games. It's like, what? What does that mean? Yeah. So you're saying, like, like you, you want to play a single player story game. Like, so your option is to play Jade Empire. One, find me that quote. There is a quote. And two, I love that you missed the PlayStation's laps onto it. What I suspect he actually said, yeah. you know, is probably like, we have that option there. It's probably not like, oh, fuck you, you know, just get on the X, just go and play for 60 games. Like, there's plenty of multi platform games on yeah. the Xbox to play. And that's, if we're, if we're honest, what are all the best games at the moment? Multi platform. Mm, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. like pretty much. Like, I was gonna say, I, I said that. I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the last multi platform game I played. Well, you own Crash. Yeah, but technically, at the moment, it's only on. We all know that it's multi platform. Yeah. But yeah. you know what I mean? Like that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like there's plenty of games to download. Yeah. Well. Um, it's just one of those things. Like Spencer is, but I think multi platform. I think backwards compatibility is an incredible service. Mm. 
that and Game Pass, which again has got a lot Game of Pass. great, great so this games. This is what you coming back when you send like the online and stuff, and you like yeah. be multiplayer games, like focus on a service, Xbox. And I've been saying for years and stuff, like Xbox to me will go service based. You pay a subscription or whatever. Basically, the Netflix and content. Con- that's what it already is. It's like yeah. live. No, that's, yeah. that's what it is. They and do Game it. Pass and ES. So it's basically, it, it will order. become like a Steam box, but yeah. Xbox instead of Steam. I think it's Because they didn't want, you know, obviously the Xbox one originally wasn't going to have this. So yeah, yeah. Online Which they should have done because it would have made more sense. Yeah, it's just now. funny. Like it's funny. It would even then, I would have made. I think they would have made. Yeah, but they could have I just look at, the, I just look at the Xbox and how they're going and stuff like that. I think it will be like you buy this box and there's all it's all digital and stuff like that. And there's going to be different versions of the boxes. So this is the 1080p box. This is the 4K box. This one's that months. This one's got so many hard drives. And that's it. I think that works. I mean, right now we, mm. it's hard to tell because yeah. both consoles are kind of the same. Mm. But I, I. I about physical media, so that would build. Well, that's because you know that's just that's just who you are, yeah. and ultimately you're probably not the mass market. Yeah. You're not like yeah. I'm not. So you know, like again, and for the record, I'm much more of an Xbox guy than a PlayStation guy. Mm. And I'm, I know, I'm saying my Xbox One collection is almost all physical, and I've got like 30, 40 games for it. Yeah. But it's like the average person, like my brother, is not. I wouldn't consider my brother a hardcore gamer. Yeah. He bought Crash Downloadable because it's easier. Yeah. You know, and like his friends did the same. You know what I mean? So it's it's at, it's at that point now. Yeah. Right? So would they want a system which would only be digital? Would would they know the difference if it was cheaper? I, I don't if they can't say what's a what's a Blu-ray hard drive nowadays? I don't know. You know, like that's what I'm saying. Like we're not at that point. The yeah. Xbox will not. There's a there's a very key thing you'll be forgetting about, which is why that will not be. Yeah. But at least in the five six years, yeah. it's films. Yeah. They all have the data. Yeah. I would love to know how much percentage of the Xbox One is a Blu-ray player, same mm. as the PlayStation. Yeah. But they'll never take that drive out. Yeah. That's that's what's stopping that. Mm. But um, I think overall Xbox had a really conference. Yeah. Um, for Xbox guys, and this See, this will be an exact that, flip in a minute. Yeah, you saying for Xbox guys, like what did you said? See a fees, you're not that. So about. so they showed. You're buying Project Cars, not Forza, as far as I'm aware. Well, I could probably get both. I've had yeah. every Forza game since the first. So what, again, let me finish for you. Yeah. PlayStation fanboy. No, I'm just asking. You're, like, saying, you're saying they showed Breaking so Bad. They, so they showed no Halo. There's no Gears. Which and, came out last year. And do Xbox gamers really care about things like last night? So this is the thing, play, right? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. So Chris did a Xbox with exclamation box. So what Chris thinks is that Xbox players just play FIFA. When if he looks at the metrics, mm-hmm. it's just the most popular console. And so actually, the PlayStation guys are probably play more FIFA and Call of Duty than Xbox because there's more people buying the games. Yeah. So that's derogatory or better than that. Yeah. So apologise to everyone. You're okay. sorry. sorry. So what, what I mean by Xbox, guys, is if I'm an Xbox Live subscriber yeah. and I play Xbox Live games as my main thing, so I'm playing Ark, I'm playing whatever, having Battlegrounds, having timed exclusives, having the indies, having the multi-platforms that we care about, so having a good showing of Assassin's Creed, having a good showing for Anthem, which again is multi-plat, it's not Xbox exclusive, I know they didn't message it very well, yeah. that's EA more than anyone, but it is coming to both. Yeah. And probably PC. Yeah. Um. Yeah, again, so. showing all the crossplay. So you know, average Joe who wants to play Minecraft with his kid, the kid can play it on his iPad. He can play it on his Windows version on the Xbox. They can play together. That's really good for people for families yeah. and stuff. You know, they showed the new box, which you know we haven't done the price. It's four four nine. Mm. For the power, I think it's great. Um, for the games, not so much. Mm. I think that's a fair thing to say. I don't think I don't think there's enough exclusive games. Mm. Someone's about to buy that. Yeah. But if you're the type of person that wants the best TV, the best movie experience, the best sound, the best load times. Same reason why you buy a PS4 Pro, yeah. in my opinion. Again, they didn't show any VR, which I was surprised about. Yeah. Um, I think it's because VR's getting quite hit this year. Mm. Um, no, glass from, thing about Bethesda, they showed quite a lot of VR. Yeah, they did, and they, they yeah. did show more when we get to the PlayStation ones. Obviously, PlayStation showed quite a bit, which is good, because they need to, because they need to support that sort of platform. But yeah, Xbox are in a really interesting point at this time, but they can't they can't do one thing, they can't do the other. They can't go, I'm going to keep putting out single player games because they don't sell. Yeah, that's why and then scale, that's why scale scale back back they kind of basically nasty. brought out and came out and said, that's why, not going to sell. Why this free. is what I meant about Xbox. Because when I, you, I, to me, when you say Xbox guy, I'm thinking the thing. When you, you say PlayStation guy, I'm thinking, likes of me, of JRPGs and story You yeah. say Nintendo guy, obviously. Nintendo brings pretty much all the it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's anyway, but you're saying like Scalebound, we know yeah. it virtually got cancelled and didn't sell, we know Quantum Break and Sunset didn't sell, yeah. these sort of games don't sell on Xbox, 
Xbox. We know that. So you're saying this Xbox conference is great, but we know things like the last night in Arkham Escape likely not going to sell if you look at the other things similar yeah, to Yeah, but then it. you're just... You, you literally have just listened to me talk about the multiplayer yeah. stuff and then just ignored it. Yes. Yeah. that. And what I mean by what I don't like about the whole Xbox guy yeah. quotes thing is that it's derogatory. Yeah. So, like, the only at the end of the day, everyone is allowed to have their own game yeah. opinion apart from PC gamers who suck. Yeah. You know? So, Xbox... If you've got an Xbox One, mm. like... Okay, it's like people I know that just have an Xbox One. They buy almost every multiplayer. They play multiplayer. They don't care if it doesn't have Sunset Overdrive. They equally don't care if it doesn't have Uncharted. You know, like that's fine. You know, that's is is that most people on Xbox? We don't know. We don't know twenty million Xbox players. Yeah, sure. You know, so you know, for for what they showed, for what they Mm. what they sell their audience as. Yeah. So what Phil Spencer comes out and says afterwards, during and before. Yeah. They that conference is fine. Yeah. They've so they've got multi platform, they've got some times exclusive, they've got some indies, they've got a few of their own exclusives, they've got a service with Game Pass and backwards compatibility, they've shown the new console that looks quite powerful. I think overall as a package, for what they are aiming for, mm. they're never they're, right now they cannot overtake Sony. Mm. And equally they need to be careful that the switch doesn't the switch will overtake it easily. You know, so so they've got to be really careful to not lose their position. You know, because obviously the switch might as well be in a different thing because it's not it is it's a not different, it is a different it's, not it's, a, it's, a, it's a weird thing it's like nintendo said they're not competing yeah the other two xbox and playstation are both saying it's a secondary console because it's it is you know, I mean, pretty much only has nintendo unless you and it's portable unless you only buy nintendo it's a second console yeah and, but and there's less and less of those every year but so they're not saying it isn't competitive but you come to first first uh you know among buying a, a system for little uh you know little, little jimmy that it is a competitor. They've only got so much money, and they're going in the shop and like, oh, this is an Xbox One S. Here's a PS4 Slim. Here's a Switch. This one is this price, and you can take it on the go. Oh, look, they're two controllers. Little think, Jimmy can play with his brother for Little Timmy. I think the problem, the problem is Little, so Tim, that, li- little Timmy and Little Jimmy are more educated than yeah. when Little Chris and Little Dave. Yeah. That's the honest truth. Like, you, so they tell the parents. They know what they want. I mean, what, at the end of the day, like, again, we're gonna sound again, sound like old man. Like, I've got a nephew. Yeah. Who's like four or five is probably better on using uses his mobile more than I do. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I think that I yeah. think. But so they're not competitive, different. but they are competing for money. You can only people oh, already got so much. They're, they're, competing got for, people. they're competing for money, obviously. But and obviously, this time again, and I w- stuff wasn't like. really talking about that. Just like, just generally speaking, for the next like two or three years, the Xbox is at a point now where mm-hmm. it needs to decide whether to stick or twist with the new. If they're gonna do this new service like you yeah. predict, yeah. or they're gonna do another console. Yeah. That's why the X is coming out this year mm. because it's just a more pa- it's, it's the pc way right now um so again we'll see what happens yeah. with the xbox right, yeah we'll, because in japan the, the again like i said to you earlier japan is japan is not a thing yeah, for xbox and so most of europe is in the us so switch will probably be able, be able to outsell the xbox one just basically i think japan. the switch might or even outsell playstation in japan yeah, it will it's like because yeah, i don't think playstation is doing that great it's like not. it's doing okay it's, it's just it's, okay. it's just it's the 360 this time around yeah because the ps3 Basically, that's what it is. The yeah. PS, Microsoft made all their mistakes at the beginning, like Sony did, mm-hmm. and they don't have the territories to bring it back. Mm-hmm. So, that's Microsoft again. I think it was good. You probably don't. Yeah, I like I said, there's a lot of games I like. I want to play on it, but yeah. the nearly all time exclusive, so I can wait for them to come to Switch, PS4, PC, or Vita, or whatever. So I can wait for them to come there. Yeah. So I'm looking at it as the proper exclusive, and the Xbox One X. Like you're saying like people that like fancy TVs, I own a fancy TV, I own a pro, I own a pro pro. I've watched digital foundry coverage of all the like resolutions you're a nerd, and stuff. That's what we're saying. A nerd. nerd. Yeah. Like Anthem is actually not four K, it's actually <laughs> running at checkerboarding, okay? So I know that. Yeah, so yeah. I watched all this and so is uh, um Assassin's Creed. And I came in earlier joking about your crash bind if you're running at ten eighty P and mine's running at fourteen forty P. So I care about this stuff. So I'm like the sort of person that cares about what the Xbox One X is doing. And spec wise, it's amazing. I like I want that spec system, but you like I don't care about any of the games. Like I don't care about Force. I don't like race. I don't really like racing games. Yeah. And Project Cars is mostly going to be better as well. Mm, yeah. Okay. So I can play Project Cars. CSC is supposed to be getting multiplayer. So, like I'm saying, I'm not really the audience. No. I, I find it really weird. Like, I'm the audience for the... For the hardware. For the hardware, but, the not, hardware, the but yeah. not for the software. Like, if that system... 
but Xbox One X had PS is was a PlayStation 4 Pro Plus or something. I would be ordering right now. Yeah. I would pay four hundred fifty quid for it. If it was like a Nintendo 4K system, I would pay the four hundred fifty quid for it because there's games I want to play on yeah. those systems. Uh, that's the issue. So I love the hardware. I just don't like the software. And now we're going to get on to this. So this is part two of the argument yeah. one, because this is the complete opposite now, because we're going to talk about PlayStation. Yeah. And this is, this is honestly going to sound like we're like the worst fanboys ever. But like, so PlayStation came out. Yeah. Um, again, I actually, my girlfriend actually fell asleep during the PlayStation conference, and I'll, pre- that'll, I'll preface. And bear in mind, we didn't watch it. We watched it at five o'clock the next day, yeah. and she fell asleep. So I can't remember what it started with. So what did it uh, start with? Something. I want to say gone, um, Days Gone or something. It started with Uncharted. Uncharted Lost Legacy. Yeah. Okay. Again, um, really weird showing. Yeah, there were sound issues they, on the stream. Which didn't yeah, help. they did it sort of similar to Bethesda and last year, where it was mainly all trailers. It was mainly trailers, and there's yeah, like weird so, shit going on in the in the actual. Yeah, um, so like Layden, their bodies weren't like, like, moving around and stuff. Yeah, but like basically, Sean Layden came out and was like, "Oh hi, I'm Sean Layden. I'm businessman. His, his I'm game. stuffy businessman. I'm going back." <laughs> and like last year, obviously, Kojima came out. No Kojima this year. No Death Stranding at all. No. Oh, oh, we need to talk about something before this. Yeah. What are Sony thinking with the pre-show? They put loads of good shit on the pre-show. Yeah. I didn't see the pre-show. I didn't see it. You oh, yeah, they put like knack and stuff on the yeah, pre-show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they what should. The hell? Like, and GT Sport. Yeah. What the fuck? Like, Seriously. 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 Um, yeah. But um, anyway, so yeah, the actual conference started with uh, Uncharted. looked like Uncharted. Yeah. Um, looked really good. Um, I'm really excited for that. Yeah, yeah. you are that as well. Good. That was a great start. They basically did, no, actually, it, changed, it was different, actually. Sean came out. They showed Uncharted first. Yeah. Then they showed the Horizon DLC. I think. Yeah, Wild, again, I've not Wild played Wild. Horizon, you've not finished it. So. And then Two they... DLCs, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, but one stand, one stand though, and yeah, it's like eight yeah. hours long. It's yeah. kind of like, that's no longer DLC, really. Well, no, right, but it's fine. I mean, I'll buy it. And you got Horizon, and then the show Days Gone. Which I cannot stand. And then, basically, then Sean came, Sean came out. And I thought, oh, okay, I thought, they've got these three out of the way. That's coming out in all this, Uncharted. Yeah, right, it makes yeah. sense. You don't know, it's coming out uh, pretty soon. Then it's Horizon, back to That's coming out this year as well, yeah. Year. And I was like, oh, Days Gone must be coming out this year. Nope. It's 2018. <laughs> and, and I'm thinking, that's coming out this year. That's mostly going to be like October, zombies yeah. and that. It makes sense. So, like, okay, you got them out there. This coming this year. This is like really soon. So I'm sure they now come out. And then you're going to show me like your new games. You know, what, what are you going to get me excited about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it didn't come, did it? it they didn't come. They didn't come. No, they, so it, what we did this last year, and I said last year, my big issue with Sony in general, and again, I I have a place La- for last year's the video. They have a problem. They have a problem where they have to outdo everyone, and so they always show a game like two or three years in advance, <laughs> and they just have a year every couple of years where they go, fuck, everything's in development. Yeah, and we've um, got nothing new to I show. Was saying like 2013 was great, was a great conference from Sony. It's the year where they came out, and they're like. This is how you play a used game. Right, yeah. And the whole price Again, thing. and even then, that, that conference was because they went after Xbox. And if it'd been the other way around, I would really And with the, pro- you know, the price being like, mm-hmm. was it 75 quid less and $100 less? It's like they weighted. And It's brilliant. They did that with PS1 as well. And yeah, $100. And no, it was $299. $299. That was it. And that was it. Conference. That was the conference. And yeah, but they did all that. Everyone always remembers that. And they showed actually some decent games like Killzone that really good and stuff like that. They showed some, and all were at the time that good. So that was a great conference. <laughs> yeah. That was a good conference. 2014, I could not tell you a single thing that happened in the 2014 conference. Yeah. And again, I tried most really showing I don't 15 know. was really good. 16. 15 was the best EP conference. Of all time. And I, again, we've talked about this. Of all time. It's a, it's a good conference. It wasn't actually that all great. All time. It wasn't actually that great for information. All time. Just like none of those games were fun. Again, you're a um, fanboy. One of them, you, one of you're them like a full fanboy. One of them was Crash. No, Last Guardian. Last Guardian again, which was crap. I thought No Man's Sky, maybe. which was crap. No, that that was the one of... Shenmue 3, which, Shenmue which 3. has been delayed and we've seen nothing more of. Oh, which is a Kickstarter. Final Fantasy 7, which was, which was not heard which anything about. Sort of beat, yeah. Right, okay. And that's got it. Which was crap. Yeah. So, so that was that's what I'm saying. That, that's, um, that's PlayStation's MO, is this sort of pre-hype. They, they yeah. do hype well, which is what you need to do. And again, when we get to Nintendo, yeah. is what you need to do for an E3 conference, to win E3 in yeah. quotation marks. And then 26, last year, they, of, they announced Spider-Man. Which, really which is for the best game of their show this year. They yeah. announced God of War, which is great. Uh, mm. um, so they announced the you know new games this year. Uh, last year was a great. It was a good show. It was a, great, it was a good game. It was a good show. show. But like I remember things like I said, I can't yeah, remember yeah. anything that people. 
this year well their problem was like you said everything is in development they said they're mostly going to go Gamescom this year. They didn't manage to yeah. PSX. And, and they got Tokyo Game Show. And then they... And they got PSX. And so they, they got... S- both, so they basically said, like, we can basically blow our load on the Oh, and, and then they'll because come out after we, E3 and go, oh, actually, the end of the year doesn't matter. Because... They, that's a quote. You can quote Because well. we got three other... But anyway, before you start rounding up, we've got to get to what was actually in the conference. Yeah. So they did Days Gone, yeah. which, again, I don't really care about. Do you really care about it? No, not really. It's I will mostly buy it, play it. I kind of traded. enjoy it. It being like an eight out of ten sort of game. Uh, it looks like the uh, you know you know you're saying you're like Xbox games like multiplayer base. This is it the, really really is. This is like the, the generic. Like, someone's gone in like an office and gone written on something. So what needs to be in a PlayStation game? Third person. Third person. Stealth. Tick, stealth. Tick. Lots of stuff on screen. Lots of story. Probably some grass some somewhere. Dark, gritty. Right. A, a if, forest. Yeah, we basically... Right, so what's part of The Last of Us? We can copy that. Yeah, Uncharted. Right, we can do Uncharted. <laughs> yeah, like God of War. Ba- Great reboot. Yeah, there we go. basically someone's gone, right, what's, like, we've got what's popular of all our games and put them into one thing. And I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Mm-hmm. And that's, this is what, what I... Because well, me, and, me and Chris will have our daily mm-hmm. Xbox, PlayStation arguments because we're fanboys, we can't help it. This is what fucking winds me up about PlayStation so much. Is that then for me they're no better than Ubisoft mm. because it's just the same mm. game and I love Uncharted yeah. right I don't need to play a different flavor of Uncharted mm. and you know what I mean like yeah but anyway we're, we're getting off track yeah, so, so the show day's gone yeah then they did God of War uh yes I think so um which I hate what they've done with it see I've because really they okay. PlayStation it yeah. it's not a yeah it's the not reason they like, they've That's done that they've done that for a reason then they basically say God of War did not do well in no, Europe and what Sony's biggest territory Europe. Yeah. They've like European it up. And they've just made it like Land Tomb Raider. Yeah. With with um, Dark Souls combat. Yeah. The only thing is oh. I really like looking at this. I think it looks crap. crap. And, and I hate the, it. And this I, is actually oh. their, their point is actually kind of true because I did not play God of War 1, 2. I didn't play the first one. I played ones. all of them. The only apart one from I, Ascension. The only one I've, I've played Ascension. The only two I've played is 3 and Ascension on PS3. That's the only ones I've played. Yeah. And I wasn't that bothered about that. And you're saying I, I you know the PlayStation fan, and I didn't care about God of War, and now they've made a game that I kind of like the look of. So they basically worked with what they were saying. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the thing. That's I me. Mean, it's it's a difficult one because I think it's like you with Zelda again. Mm-hmm. If you're a fan of God of War, the way they played, it, this is not the same game. It's not. It's got the same character in it. That's it. Like it's really not the same game. Mm-hmm. You know, the settings different. The controls are completely different. Yeah. It's different teams. There's no keys. No, well, there'll be some. There's no, always, Corey Borders said there's not going to be That was nothing. Days Gone had some PTs. And yeah. Too many in Spider Man, but that's and, the one. Yeah, Corey Borders said there's not a single yeah. PT and well, one cut. So it's, definitely, one so it's definitely not a God of War game. Yeah. It's just got Kratos, yeah. which is fine. They need to yeah, humanise yeah, Kratos. Exactly. But again, for me, again, as soon as you were like Forza, I couldn't care less. See, I, I really I, couldn't care less yeah. about Days Gone and God of War. <laughs> um, and then they did the stupidest thing I've ever seen that people are excited about. And that's Shadow of the Colossus remade, remake, remake. Yeah. It's remaster, remake, or remake, remaster. Right. It's a remake of a remaster. Right. So of a game that came out less than ten years. So ago. Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus <laughs> on PS2. It was 2005. Then they got remastered with Eco in 2010 for PS3. So that's a remaster. So they made PS2 game running 10, 1080p and right. added trophy. Yeah. This is now a remake of, of a remaster of, the, of a PS2 game that came out in 2005. Yeah. yeah. So it's a whole. So new, who's this for? So it's a new engine. This is this is like this is a serious question. Okay. Shadow of Colossus, we both completed Shadow of Colossus. Yeah. Right? It's a very story driven, emotional mm. game. I personally don't see why you would want to do more than one playthrough. Mm. Because there's not a lot of collectibles, mm. there's not a lot of like challenges, mm. you know, it's not like the, the trophy list is essentially beat the game at a certain amount of time mm. or beat the game at a certain I don't think there's difficulties. I don't mm, remember no, those. Um so there's like, right, so why if that's a niche, niche, niche game, it didn't, it sell, it didn't sell that well. Why are you excited for that? Why would you be excited about that? other than the fact to have it on your shelf and mm-hmm. it to look nice on your TV? Right. One, I even tweeted, I could not give a monkey's about that. And that's what I'm saying. Look, I've <laughs> I, seen, I don't like, see the, that, they I've seen reacts and stuff like that because obviously you now get all the Yeah, reacts. people losing so their shit. People yeah, losing yeah. their shit. And then it come out about a game we were talking about uh, later and we had Wipeout and. They, you know, like they were doing building lists, and that's why Shimu came back. And 
Final Fantasy. Which is great, one. they should do that. And he it's said, really great. They've been listening to the fans, and apparently the fans want this, but... Who are the fans that want this? I mean, I'm... Shout out again. I, I must sound the most negative person ever, but, like, Shadow Plus is a great game. Yeah. It was, it's always been a great game. PS2's best game. It's a, well, that's an argument. But anyway, I'm, I don't really like PS2, so that's not a problem. I like PS2. Um, but it just it feels like that's a waste of... Like, if anything, redo ICO. Mm. Yeah. Which is a more interesting game. Yeah. But, like, you know, it's... I just feel this like it's a waste thing. of it's like, energy. Like, yeah, it's other, like, like make cycling we knew, do it. Do something else. Comes, you knew, like, like it was one of my predictions. Three points game will show up, and it did. It did, but it was. <laughs> I was thinking it was going to redeem itself. None of us would have predicted Shadow Cross again. No, because it's been remade too, too recently. Well, yeah, there, that's the thing. Um, it's just obviously they can put more than control. Yeah, they in. can. I mean, they they can they've said they're going to try and fix some they stuff. They could put in the um, you know, the dire creatures that weren't that's in it. The, the, that would be brilliant if they if they announced that. If mm. they said if they had a, a fucking drawn picture mm. of three monsters that weren't in the previous game, like this is why you need to play that. Maybe they'll do it next year. Mm. Like you know, like this is why you need to play mm. that. Especially because Last Guardian didn't do that well. No. And people didn't like it. Mm. So we're like. Right, guys, why do they earn? You know, why do they earn that remake? Mm. You know, unless it was really in production during. And that's that's maybe, where the fan feedback come from. This last Guardian and people come. People oh, crap. said about Shadow the controls played like dick. Yeah, was, I, I I don't know. But, um, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, yeah, I will most probably buy it and replay it because I do like that game. But I did not. It wasn't something that I really got excited about. Uh, they showed Days Gone, not Days Gone, um, Detroit. Sure they showed they should have a good trailer. Um, mm. it's not coming this year, which is a shame. Yeah. That's one of the three games. I'm excited yeah, about and the what PlayStation. Yeah, and what is that with Detroit? You take like I think about like Spencer and Sean. Like the Detroit official Twitter put out about like it put something like it was like a first something like wake up on a Thursday morning and realize Detroit is a PlayStation exclusive and not on Xbox. And he actually put at PlayStation at Xbox and they put like the you know, yeah, like yeah. the thing it was like. And then they put something else, like it was in an interview or something. And uh, there was like, an interview, whoever, like, it wasn't David Cage. It was someone else. And he was like, something like, wow, yeah, but place, oh, you know, something like coming next year. Well, yeah, it's not coming next next year. Because PlayStation, unlike others, gives us time to work on a game. It's like, well, it's not been a quantic dream apart from Fahrenheit. Yeah, I mean, spot. yeah, it's really. It just feels like it just sounds like they like. I could get like. It, if, it feels like you're their PR person. <laughs> yeah, but if like if it, I could get if it's just platinum games like. Oh, totally, yeah, totally. Yeah, because scale any, bound cast and Or any some, former rare employees. Yeah, or anything like, like that. Yeah, I was yeah. Thinking, I was thinking, well, what the hell is Xbox done? Yeah, I don't. Dream? Yeah, I don't know. I think I think that's just something probably behind the scenes thing. Yeah, but, it um, just sounds like it, they deleted their tweet and stuff. Oh, these interviews. Yeah, someone, someone probably got told off. Well, to get back on track because we are killing time. Yeah. They also showed um, Undertale with PS4. Yeah. Um, Anvia. Yeah. Great. I'm gonna play Anvia. Uh, definitely play the game. Play the, it's weird ass Earthbound, and Earthbound's weird enough, but that's cool. This is the one that I was on about that's confusing people. Is Monster Hunter World? Yeah. It's not a PlayStation exclusive. Yeah. It is probably is on Xbox and PlayStation and PC. Uh, that's actually wrong. Is it exclusive in Japan? In Japan, but the, the, even it's, not, it's not on PC even, in Japan either. Even if it wasn't, you wouldn't be able to find an Xbox one to play on in Japan. Yeah. Apart from like the uh, three British journalists that live over there and like the ten American developers, yeah. like you know. But um, so yeah, looks that looks incredible. Again, this is not the place to talk about Monster Hunter World. Go to Monster Mash, mm-hmm. listen to the guys talk about it. They know what they're talking about. They weren't excited about it. No, I think people are getting more excited now that show. But now more. they're excited because they saw more at the Monster Hunter World Championship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People that I know that like that game are really excited. Yeah. I have dabbled in Monster Hunter. I've dabbled as well. I've PSP. And but I am. But I thought you've Double got Cross. Um, Double Cross Switch. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I'll and then we'll buy World. I will probably will get World. Because um, if, I, if I Double Cross doesn't click, I can go right. It's still a proper Monster Hunter, and it's in Japanese. Well, World's supposed to be Westernized. If it looks Westernized. If World doesn't click, then it's never. Yeah, never. Anywhere. Yeah, I mean, I again, I probably. I'll probably it up. Um, and then the, the big game they showed at the end of the conference was Spider-Man yeah. Arkham Knight, yeah. which looks really great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the t- actual the title It's like Marvel of Spider-Man. It's it? Marvel Spider-Man. That is the game's title. Marvel That's all it needs. It looks great. Yeah. Um, it, looks really, it looks really nice. Yeah. Um, people are a little bit worried about QTEs. I personally have no problem with QTEs mm. as long as they make sense. Yeah, they when you're stopping running. a falling building, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Gameplay looks really cool. Yeah. It's not actually not that much to say because it, it, it it's funny because it, it it's not doing anything unique. Mm. It's just that it, it's a Spider-Man game that seems to work. 
Yeah. Um, looks really nice. It's yeah. it's my one of my favorite studios in mm-hmm. Insomniac. Yeah. Um, buy the Ratchet and Clank remake. Mm-hmm. If you, when you're done with Crash, go out and buy the Ratchet Clank remake because yeah. it's on par, if not better, in my opinion. It's one of the best games on PS4. Um, so that mm. I means fun was great. I mean, it's, it's not really a lot to say about it because it just kind of they just kind of showed the game. Mm. Um, and then the conference ended and people were like, "Where's what, the Last of Us?" And they told you last year they weren't going to show more. Mm. Uh, that know? will be a PSX. That will be a PSX. And that'll be a really Death small. Stranding will be a PSX. Death Stranding will be a Death Stranding 100. Or a TTS. It depends if you can. It'll be a both. It, um, t- yeah. Death Stranding will be a both. I think um, the other one will be just. So again, we're not talking about that. Yeah. We'll talk about so that their the conference show. was quite short. Yeah, it was. Pr- there was no releases in it. No, there was a VR sizzle reel. They showed a couple yeah, of other VR Yeah, the VR stuff. They showed some decent stuff. Moss looks really good. Moss looks good. Because again, you've sold your VR. I don't have one. You can actually buy them now. Like, it's three. Yeah, like, if you live in Taunton, go to Aston. There's three there right now. <laughs> so. Yeah, they actually. The VR stuff is uh, seen. was actually pretty decent, what they uh, showed. But to me. VR should be shown at PSX. I know I, I, I do disagree. I think I think for the people that that spend the money, I think it's good to see mm. some, especially because yeah. they didn't, especially because they didn't have a lot else. Mm. So they, again, personally, I would put the VR on the pre-show, mm. and I would put Gran Turismo Sport nah. and Knack Two, which is supposed yeah, to be really sh- good. And they showed a few like third parties. They did show some stuff, and, and, and yes, you maybe. know. Well, that's what I would have had. They have their, they have their deal. They have their money deal, whatever. Like, they got like everyone now. They, they do because because they're winning. Xbox, the beginning Xbox happened because they want like they had Call of Duty for like three years. So you know when Nintendo wins, then Nintendo beat Call of Duty for the first. <laughs> but um yeah, so I thought the play, like again I'm 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 much more an Xbox fan than a PlayStation. I'm a bit more reasonable than PlayStation. Mm. So I think the PlayStation was okay. Yeah. It was the worst of the big three. Yeah. Um, because there just wasn't anything that exciting for me. Yeah, I the see, games they showed, I don't really like. Yeah, see, this um, is this, like that's thing, the like, difference, you know. I watched it and it was like, okay, that was it. And then like the following day, I was like, okay, that was it. But I will buy Uncharted. Yeah. I'll buy the Horizon DLC. I said I'm still more. It's really good. My girlfriend will buy it. Yeah. I'm not. I was like, like, I'll buy it. Just, I'll buy Days Gone. I will like it, but it's most probably yeah, not too exciting yeah. unless it comes out at like, a really stupid time or something. It's like yeah. I'm almost like I'll buy Spider Man. I'll buy Detroit. I was like, let's buy it already. And it's like Monster Hunter. I buy. I know it's multi, uh, multi- part, yeah. but the Monster Mash guys are all on PlayStation, and I'm gonna play Monster Mash guys most probably. Yeah, we'll so see. it then you know makes sense. I was like buy that, and it's like well that's six games. That's six games out of they only showed eleven. Or something like that. Yeah. It's like, well, that's six. It's too fair. It's like six out of eleven on five. It's like, well, that's one, a, one, if you think of it like that yeah, thing, yeah. it's like that's actually a decent conference. It's just like I knew I was buying Spider Man anyway. You could not show me anything for yeah, Spider Man. Yeah. Like I knew I was buying that. I think for me, it's, I think it's still the least of that though for me because again, the Xbox, I would have, I'm gonna buy Cuphead probably. I'll probably go see a Thieves. Yeah. I'll probably will pick up Forza because I always mm-hmm. do. I'll probably will pick up Crackdown. I will buy Ori. Will have wish which I forgot to talk okay, about. Yeah. And I'll pick that up. Most of the folk I probably will pick up Player Unknown, probably will pick up fucking Metro. You know what I mean? So it's and it's the same. I don't think for PlayStation it's still worth it for a while. But again, it's, it's like I told you, it's because they're developing games. Yeah. Which is fine, but then this Christmas. Yeah, because we know uh, the, the biggest shot really was because you said I went back for our podcast and you're like, I guarantee it. Well, Sucker Punch's game wasn't there. And it wasn't there again. Yeah, it's it wasn't there again. Yeah, and I think that's like the only developer we P- don't know what they're working. P- PSX, I think we know exactly what's going to happen when we get to the second part of this conversation. So we'll get we'll get yeah. through Nintendo. Yeah. Not from now. Right. So Nintendo. Yeah. Um, many people are saying that theirs was the best. Yeah. Um, and we know why. So they they came out and they started. They showed another trailer for Rabbids. Yeah. Um. Yay! Yeah. Still looks good. Still saying, why? Great. Why did you need another trailer? They needed a trailer. You know, Nintendo fans just watching Nintendo stuff. Um, so that's great. Um, you know, it's kind of a blur because I remember watching it and being like, "This is awesome." And then, like now, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, "Cool." They so they announced that Metro Prime's coming. Yeah. Uh, they said after the conference that's coming next year. Yeah. And that's great. They said the Pokemon is going to be a mainline Pokemon game after the conference. They said that's coming next year. Yeah. Cool. They showed all the stuff that's coming this year. So they showed more Splatoon. Splatoon. They showed Arms, which has already come out. They announced Rocket League. Yeah. Uh, with crossplay yeah. with everything apart from PlayStation again. Yeah. Brilliant. That's a perfect game for that system. I'll definitely be buying that. Um, Kirby. They showed a Kirby. They showed a Yoshi, Yoshi, which they played afterwards on Treehouse. Both games are really cute. Yeah. Coming next year. Uh, they showed more Pokken, which is coming this year. They showed more Xenoblade Two, which I know you're really excited about. It's coming this year. Yeah. Um, Super Mario Odyssey. They showed Super Mario Odyssey, which is the game show. Yeah. Hands down, there's no yeah. argument. It's that was Spider-Man. That's see, it yeah, always that, seems to be the toss up between those two. I know. Pressing Mario is just more unique. I mean, it just yeah, it just looks great. 
Um, they show some foreign warriors. Mm -hmm. They show again. They show a lot of this. They just kept for, for Treehouse. Yeah. It's only a half an hour uh, video, really. Yeah, like quite a lot of them. Foreign. They show like all the three deaths that was in all the three. All of so um, they announced uh, Metroid Samus Returns yeah. for for the Xbox. Got it. She's she's trying to get up thing. Why and they announced uh, Mario and Luigi Star Saga remake. Uh, something else. And they showed like Metopia and stuff like that. Yeah, but uh, like the overall conference didn't actually have that much content. It was no. just like they, they hit the hard trailers, they hit the announcements that people wanted. Yeah. Um, Super Mario Odyssey looks like it's going to be. Yeah. I can't believe in a year we've had Breath of the Wild that there's going to be a game on Switch better than that, and yeah. it's probably going to be Mario Odyssey. Mm -hmm. um, I'm much more of a Mario guy than a Zelda guy anyway. So, like, I'm more of a Zelda guy, but I think, you're, you know, you're, you're much Mario. less of the, the PlayStation eyed Zelda they put out this year, which yeah. is like open world, don't press, and yeah. game of the forest. Yeah. So, there you go, it's your own fault, buying a PlayStation. But um yeah, so like the Nintendo games are really cool. Uh they didn't show any virtual console yeah. uh, because they and then the week after announced the Super Nintendo classic, yeah. so that that's why they didn't show that. They didn't really show indies, um no. I remember. I mean they had no. the indie showcase before. Because I thought there was gonna be an indie session around. They didn't probably didn't show ukulele, which I was so I do want to pick that game up, so I'm gonna go they didn't show that. Um they showed more Minecraft mm. and stuff and Minecraft Story Mode's coming now and yeah, they showed some Skyrim. Yeah. See, when you talk about and... it, so like that ain't come from one that exciting. No, it wasn't. It's, it's just because just... people got excited about Metroid Prime and Pokemon. If there's something we can agree on is that we're both Nintendo fanboys mm. and that most people that like Nintendo are Nintendo fanboys. Mm. And so we The only just thing like... is I go back to Sony were like they sure let's say they, I can let's say they showed eleven games, like I said, and six on by. Nintendo showed let's say third showed six game. I'm buying five of them. Yeah. Just like, like the only one I won't be, I'm not buying Rocket League. Oh, like then I'll it. buy again. I bought, it, like it. I bought it two times already, three times already. So I'm like everything else I buy. And also, like I said before, like the Switch this year, we've had a Zelda, we've had a Mario, we've had a Mario Kart, we've had Splatoon, we've had a new IP. I was like, I was always worried, like, what the hell are we getting next year apart from, Animal, getting, that's some good apart, shit. Apart from Animal Crossing? We're I was getting. thinking, what's left? And it's like, next year, the two. You've got to think the November... Oh, Metro sort of, and Pokemon. Yeah, they're going to be the full game. How, how fucking many Switches are going to be sell, sold by Pokemon? Yeah. Because people ain't going to buy Metroid. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to break... I'm going to be honest with you and I'll, I'll buy it. Mm. And listening to this, you'll probably buy it. Mm. But not many people will buy it. No one ever buys Metroid. Yeah. So, great. Pokemon, however... Mm. Will, and if they if they do do the Animal Crossing thing, I think they will do. I think they will announce an Animal Crossing in, like, January. They will what, definitely... Like for 2020, definitely. 2019? Yeah. Definitely to be doing Smash. Mm. And there's rumours today. Yeah, like um, Kirby and Yoshi go like seem like they're middle, middle, they're small, middle, like a February, March. Game. Yeah, they'll they'll come out and do okay. Yeah. Kirby Kirby games at the moment have been really good and sell very well, so that's not a problem. Yeah, they're not like system sellers. They're no. just like the. But like, when you think the, you're going to get a Smash yeah. port next year, rumours today are uh, one for one one. Mm. Um, Platinum put up a pretty much obvious. We've also heard the rumours of uh, Bayonetta. Yeah. So wouldn't Or something... do you think they're doing this week so they got something new to announce? I'm like, ah, this is on Nintendo. Maybe, Heritage. maybe, but the, the, say anything. If there's a platform. Or a platinum collection. Or free. whatever. Like anything like that. You're going to see more. You're going to see more ports anyway. So the Switch is already looking real strong. Like yeah. this year is amazing. Especially yeah, if um, Nintendo I remember since, oh, since the GameCube days, really. Yeah, and it's like, don't. I mean, obviously the support from Japan is great and the indie support is great. It's, like, we've said it before and some people don't like it. It is, to me, the Vita 2. It's the Vita with actual first party. Yeah. Because the Vita doesn't really have third party that much, like other than Japan. Yeah, which is the, which is always the same gets, case now. Which always gets leveled at the Switch anyway. Mm. But like having Nintendo's full IPs, mm. having yeah. the, having everything. As soon as that 3DS dies next year and they stop making it, like really stop putting. I think Pokemon on. will. Pokemon is the death now to the 3DS. Yeah, Pokemon's going to be like the weird thing. It's like what keeps the 3DS going, but it's also going to now kill the 3DS. Like... Unless they do a, a version oh, of yes, yeah. which they might do. But like, Again, I want it on Switch. I'll buy it on Switch. Mm. I might even buy a second Switch, mm. so like me and my girlfriend can play yeah. together. Now, now that's honestly what happened in a lot of people's mm. homes. You know, a lot of like people our age that have yeah. families and stuff will get more than one, and when they'll probably do a smaller, cheaper version next year as mm. well. The Switch, man. but yeah, or I mean, without a dock. I think dockless makes more sense. Yeah, I think that. But um, and yeah. then they can sell people with docks. I think overall Nintendo was okay. Um, I think overall E3 was okay. I think it was a little underwhelming just I because think... we expect too much. Yeah, this is and the there's thing. too many shows. <laughs> this is yeah, there's too many shows. There's way too many shows. That. And also, I think you go back to the thing. Everyone knew what was their face eating. What like the surprises like Beyond, Good and Evil, and Prime Four, as for instance. But sort of everyone knew what was in development. Like everything that Xbox shown there exclusives, we knew were developed. We knew Crackdown was developed. We knew Forza was coming. We knew Spider-Man was coming. We knew Mario was coming. 
new new looking and two. I said it's because we're four years okay, the switch has just come out, but we're for the the other two and obviously all the third parties that are involved with those two and PC, we're four years into the console cycle. Everything's sort of predictable now. And um, like you look at like Sony you saying like announce of everything plan. I don't know how many more games they actually will have to announce that have Sucker Punch's game. But mm-hmm. I think they've pretty much laid out the rest of the life of the PS4. Yeah, I think a lot Especially of seeing they, seeing, life, so, seeing they've yeah. announced the but well, they've said that this is what I also don't get is like people forget about news. Like Sean Layden uh, like said PS five's coming, we're not doing this whole like mid generation, beyond generation, we will have a new console, PS five's coming. And House actually said that as well, but people have actually like forgotten about this like People were like, before, this is the first time PS5 is coming. No, I have yeah. said it like yeah, six months ago. That's irrelevant, and people just, or whatever. But um, um, I think everybody, feels, like I said, everybody feels okay. I, yeah. don't, I don't think it's the main show anymore. They had consumers there this year yeah. for the first time. So I know that caused some issues. Which yeah, just too many people. But hey ho, it is what it is. And we, yeah. It's our Christmas, we get excited about it every year, don't we? So. Yeah, see, the thing is, I get excited more excited about PSX. But that's know? because you're a PlayStation yeah. fan. You know, like. And then, like, yeah, but you also got, like, G- um, Geo Corsi coming out, and, like, and this would be uh, because it's for a PlayStation fan, you know. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, and then it'd be like some weird ass game, like last year. It still hasn't come out. Weird ja- wind jammers and like Grim Fandango and ten- uh, Days of Tentacle. Like and I never really cared. But it was some weird ass game that he brought it brought back and everyone gets excited about. That's just the way it is. I mean, that's that's why you know people know what people get more. Ass- uh, no, no one cares. Is there anything people left get- back? Tim Schafer, is he going to bring that? Tim Schafer, probably, um, like, Monkey, Redo Monkey Island again, probably. Mm. Redo, for all Legend 2. But, um, it's like, you know, PlayStation, PlayStation X has a very specific market. Same as Nintendo Directs. And people get very excited about Nintendo Directs. So, yeah. Which there was one today, which we've missed. So, that's yeah. exciting. But, yeah, so that was E3. So, now we'll move on to what we're playing. Yeah. I'll do Joe first, because mine is quicker. So, I actually dusted off my PS4. Yeah. Um, the piece of shit that it is in place. So, <laughs> just, like, one year. So I've been playing um, Crash Bandicoot like everyone else, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. But um, other than that, um, I've been playing Titanfall 2 on my Xbox One. How do you find Titanfall 2? Because everyone last it's year... incredible. Everyone, yeah, this is like, everyone last year is like, saying it's, like, it's actually the best first person mm-hmm. shooting in itself. No one plays it. I They've, didn't like that game at all. But then you don't like any of the fun games, so... Um, no, it's because <laughs> I played... Did the, you play the multiplayer? I played some of the multiplayer. How much, how many, like, literally, like, do you play, like, two matches of the multiplayer? No, I played, like, Two, three hours? Yeah, I mean... I played the... No, but people were saying how great the single player was and how you get the connection with um the robot. I don't even know what he's called. I can't remember. I was thinking, this is just, like, cool of... Well, that's not even how many, how many games have you played. And the, and to say that it's like Call of Duty isn't fair because it's the guys that the main, Call of Duty. Yeah, but it's like, this is like... This is where Call of Duty would have gone if they were in charge. I don't really get what the fuss was. Everyone's saying it's such a great single player. But I've also said... Um, or like back in like the PS2, original Xbox, GameCube, and then like the early 360, all I played was first person shooters, and now like I could not give a toss. Well, yeah, as plus all shooter. you play now is single player games, so like yeah. you have so many like references. Like, um, Titanfall 2, honestly, now because they've, they've put more patches out, more content, it's all free. Mm-hmm. Um, they did a new patch last week, like that actually they've added a load of content. It's great, it's a really fun multiplayer game. Um, it's in a sale, I think, for both consoles right now, mm-hmm. for, like 15 quid. So, get it if you, if you like shooters. And missed the kind of slightly older shooters like Call of Duty from like three or four years ago. That's pretty much how it plays. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, still playing uh, Mighty Gun Vault on Switch, which came out this week. Yeah, really good game. If you like Mega Man, buy it. If you wanted well, Mighty no, Number I Nine mean, to be Mega Man, well, buy it. Mean, if you're not, then don't, because it's Mega Man, but with a really cool customization system. Um, in terms of pickups, because we don't do pickup videos, I've just bought a load of Xbox original games for like no money because I'm really getting into it. Have you played any of them? They actually came like yesterday, so no, I haven't. Uh, I've played a lot of them before, so I will go and replay them. I ne- I've never played um, Half Life 2, um, so I do need to play that game, uh, which I have on like four different consoles now. So, but yeah, so Chris, what have you been playing? You've got a list, haven't you? I've been You've got to be brief here because we're already running into an hour, 10 minutes. Okay, I've been playing an absolute ton, so I will go back to. Right, I've beaten Persona 5. Wait. Game of the year. Which year? This year. <laughs> and most of the best JRPG since... I was thinking Nina Kune, but a lot of people say... We'll, we'll save the Persona chat for next podcast. Cause then, we're gonna I bought, then I bought... Then I bought Injustice 2. Did you, yeah. I've beaten single player. Yeah, you liked the first one a lot. I, 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 I did, I did whoop your ass on it, though. Yeah, the first one I... 
uh, finished the single player on PS3, PS4, and Wii U. Yeah, like a real trooper. And you um, still, and you still lost me, and I never played it before. Uh, yes, um, <laughs> so, uh, I played online a few times with a couple of guys. The online is pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I absolutely suck at it. Yeah, yeah. that's not. News, I that's now not news to me. This, uh, right, this is really weird. You your whole get like crashes now hard. Um, I used to be really good at fighting games, and I absolutely suck. Um, I'm really bad at arcade fighting games because I found out. Yeah, so uh, that was re- that's really good. I thought that's the download um, I quite quickly. Um, then I completed The Walking Dead, the Telltale series, season three, The New Frontier. This is really weird. I heard no one was talking about this game. It's like really weird. Like Telltale games, everyone would not shut up about. I, I think Walking people Dead have started Dead. to get fed up with them now. But it's really good still. But like I've heard the same about Batman as well. That's yeah. really good. Now, people are really getting fed up with them. No, I don't know a single person that's talked to me about the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I I bought the season pass and so it's like eighteen quid. Yeah, and I've not played. I'm just gonna wait until all five. Episodes. For you again, for you, it's a, it's a trophy thing as well. So and that's yeah, I didn't really like this. I don't know, but they're, they're quite easy. You you yeah. play a lot of games like that, though, don't you? A lot of like walking. Yeah. Like easy peasy. I do like a good walk. Like, like the easy games. Uh, I played a little bit of Killing Floor Two, which was a plus the last month. Yes, it was. I didn't really like that. It was a bit no. like Left 4 Dead, but a few of them are getting into it. Mm-hmm. So little nightmares I played. Episodes on Via? No. I played this at EGX last year at the Namco booth, and I was like, no one was playing it. It was like, it was like totally free. I walked up, oh, that's quite an intro. It's Namco's like, we're going to go make an indie game, but we're not an indie studio. Yeah, that, so they've got, like, know, they've got indie publishing on. Yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, like a bit like the Rain Hat, well, not Rain Hat, it's just the child of lights of the work. Um, they have really nice art style, it's like, it's really, like, like Tim Burton esque sort right, of thing. Okay. I think I, I think I remember I didn't know the one. Uh, yes, yeah, so that was quite interesting. Uh, Finish that. Then I played Perception, which I kickstarted. And it's the first ever kickstarted game I've played. So it's not the first one I had. But I, Alice's Dreams member turned up. The Dreamcast game I kept sealed because I'm I like. You're a loser. Yeah, but Perception is the first one I've let you play as a blind girl mm. in first person. So not third person, like beyond eyes. First person, unusual canes for echo location, and then like everything is blue, and you can only see like a like, foot in front of you. Because it God, uses... this sounds like an indie game. I like I'm an I'm an indie developer, and you can actually going to throw off in a minute. It's <laughs> uh, yeah, basically you're in this haunted house, similar to Gone Home, but with actual haunted. That's not unlike Gone Home, where it's not actually a haunted game. Spoilers, um, everyone for Gone Home. Yeah. And um, played this, it's from the guy, he worked on Bioshock, and he directed the opening scene to Bioshock, uh, one where you go up into the water, and the, um, overrated game. <coughs> That's what? like one of the best games ever <laughs> made. Overrated game. Uh, yes, I played that, it's not that good, and it's kind, it's kind of short. Like, what were the trophies like, most of the one? I've only got like 51%. Oh, I could fat them it, but I love you, you hated it and got 51%. That's how easy the trophies Um, No, I didn't hate it. It's like a 6 out of 10. Right. And it's like 3 hours long, which kind of is okay for the end game. Uh, obviously, I paid $20 backing for it. It's like 15 quid. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I backed it because I like Bioshock and, you know, stuff like that. You and can... I even interviewed the guy as well. So. Nice. Yeah. Do you name her? UK? Yeah, then I play Arms and beat an Arms single off. And then I traded arms right in. Did you, yeah, did you beat level four? I beat it with Twin Tail and Mimin. At level four? Yeah. First I'm go almost with, impressed. First go of Twin Tail. But twin I think, tail. to be honest, like, to go, to, before we move on from arms, because I haven't bought arms for the reason that you basically just told me. There's, a, um, there's a couple of people I know are now planning trading in for Splatoon 2. Yeah, it's, it seems like like Splatoon 1. In, the, in six months, yeah. it's going to be an amazing game. Yeah, but the only thing is Splatoon 2 is right around the corner. Everyone's going to come play it's that. Gonna so. a, it's you know, it's going to be a half different order. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> then I picked up... No, that was a pick-up. I was going to say, I picked up Star Ocean. We're not doing pick-ups. Okay. You've got, I know how many you've got. So. And I picked up Tingle's Balloon Fight DS on the DS. You need to beat that game on oh, I picked up Final Fantasy fourteen Online Slot Edition. I put it in, made my um, my cat girl, and that was it. Then I pulled, uh, pulled White Out Omega Collection and realised why I don't like White Packs. Because you're like rubbish at it. <laughs> I am absolutely <laughs> terrible at it. I, said, I bought Crash Bandicoot and Snake Trilogy. Which we'll talk about later. Yeah. I bought Has Been Heroes for Switch, physical. Which is now eight pounds on PlayStation Four. Like eighteen. <laughs> well. oh, but again, yeah. it's a physical, physical Switch game. I've played Happy Heroes. I played it um, yeah, a while I, ago. I actually. I played. I played this like I played it with two hours. And my battery on my Switch went down like fifty percent. 
and I'm playing it in my portable mode. Um, yeah, I kind of like it. It's just I'm not. Really it's sure. weird. It's got uh, a weird. It um, feels system. because if everyone says it's a roguelike, it to me it actually feels like a JRPG. But yeah. we've got to put in like the RPG event, the that. RPG. That yeah. Pure, pure Tetris. Great. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty good. I pl- uh, basically I played some of the pure. I played some of the Tetris. Played fusions. So I like both. I like both series. So yeah, I, I like both on my own together, and then I started to mention that. Nice. Then I have um, got Sinkeng. Like the, I'm just gonna call it Sink Secret Secret of Magic Mansion. Yeah. Japanese import. Yeah. Uh, I played a little bit of what was the first one, which is Final Fantasy Adventures or Mystic Quest, the Game Boy one. Yeah. Got ported as Adventures of Man on Vita. Yeah. Um, that you can play lots of different styles on like the triggers. You can get big, small, and that. It's obviously King Boy. Yeah, black and white and stuff. Mm, not really played that. Played a bit of the third one, which never got a Western. And none of it's in English, though, is it? Part of like menu. Some of the menus. Played a bit of the third one, which we never. Man, released, you buy yeah. too many games. Then the I went back to Secret of Mana, which did come here. I played a little. I played like an hour of that. It's quite easy to play in Japanese, to be honest. Um. Then I played. That's it. I think. Oh no! I think I forgot one. Persona 4 Dancing All Night, I played that finish. I got 64% of the trophies. Like. You haven't got that sweet platinum though, I Chris. Who's like, got that sweet platinum? Well, Dave's got that sweet platinum, baby. Yeah. So I played a loss of game. I'm saying that, you say pick up. I only actually picked up like the t- t- Tingles game. Does that like, include any, all your PSP pickups though? No, because I did pick up um, Cody Hawk's Underground 2, Assassin's Creed Tour, Pro Evolution Soccer 5, Bobble um, Bobble, Bobble Evolution, Sonic Rivals 2, and downloading wise, I bought NBA Blind Grounds on Switch, Vaccine on Switch, and then obviously all the rest of the and plus games I added to my other thing. And that's it. I just bought Final Fantasy 7 as well, got Yeah. We did that before the show on the PS4. Yeah, but after, Person- after I beat in Persona 5, I finished seven games. <laughs> for you, that's amazing. For you, that's incredible. I mean, they're, they're, how was the average length of those seven games? You're saying two hours? Perception was three. Two hours for uh, no five hours for little nightmares. Uh, hour a chapter I would say for um Telltale, so that's five. Yeah. Month six. Um, yes. Yeah, so even in two in a month, that's that for you. Yeah. That's impressive. So five hours each. You were off work for a little while, so I yeah. that's probably why. But um, yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. So we will move on now to the Persona, last. But Persona Five is game for you. For you. I didn't like it that much. Yeah, but you've barely played it. But that's what I mean. I, this is the thing. Again, that's why I don't want to talk about that. It's 105 hours we're long. We're going to do a Persona thing. Okay? Yeah. We talk about Persona and why, why I think I don't like Persona 5, why I think other people don't like Persona 5. Yeah. Whatever. Persona 5 is what it is. <laughs> what has everyone been playing, Chris? What has taken over the fucking UK right now? Crash Bandicoot. Crash the best Bandicoot. single format game of the year. The second best selling overall only behind Ghost Recon. Which I know I can't believe that game so well. So we're saying about Far Cry either. Far Cry might have been best in the game. Well, yeah. this is what we're saying about we're not the audience for these games anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? The average, the, the average is pro like, is like. With Ghost Recon, I've never seen it advertised anywhere. I was like, how did. It was, you... only, it was advertised on television when we don't watch television. I was going to say, how did Joe Public know about yeah, the game? Because we don't know what, about what, that game. What do we not watch? Like Love Island? On a, like, mm-hmm. You know, we don't watch ITV? Like, trust me. Like, I only watch like Netflix. I, know, I, I, I just I watch Low on Netflix. I just watch YouTube. And like WWE Network, yeah. so roughly, yeah. You like like wrestling? Yeah, I know. I, 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 yes, I remember um, glorious girl, great ladies of wrestling. Right? But anyway, we're not talking about fucking that crazy. Yet again, with your fucking PlayStation option. How? Um, I'm talking glow. I know. So we're so Crash Bandicoot's doing really well. Yeah. Um, Crash Bandicoot: yeah, The Insane Trilogy is a remake, a full remake of Crash Bandicoot One, Two, and Three. Yeah. Uh, by Vicarious Visions. Yeah. Um. I don't know if you call it. It's or... a full remake. Because they, they called it a no... triple A. They had no code, so they had to completely remake. No, they said so. didn't they get some? They called it the white something of Naughty Dog. Yeah, it's it's not like like some people makes games. They didn't get a lot. They didn't get a, like a lot of code mm-hmm. at all. Like they had like nothing for like mm-hmm. um, jumping and stuff. That's why it's different. Um, like animation frames and stuff they can do from by mm-hmm. hand. But um, but anyway, regardless, it's a remake. Um, it, it looks it's, it's a different game. It isn't exactly the same. People like it does play differently. You know, and the levels of design the same. That's why I think they, the confusion is. But either way, Chris, it's taking at least the UK and I suspect the world by storm. 
Yeah, I don't think it's done as well in the States. I think someone said it was like... It's, they've said it's sold out on, on Amazon and stuff yeah. over there. So, again, it's hard to tell right now because all, all of the US stuff that we follow yeah. has been delayed by um, Independence Day. Yeah. So, the end of the week, mm. we'll be able to have them. When, when like, kind of funny start talking about it. Yeah, a lot of people are talking about it, but I don't... Like, like yeah. when we get some actual numbers. Like, it's only been out a week. Like, it's not even, not even a week, actually. It's a week tomorrow. Yeah. Um, you Like, I got one in work. Very luckily, because I worked at 4 a.m., so I saw them come in. I mean, again, we had four come in. Yeah. You still can't get my Amazon. Um, Activision, what are you doing? Well, no, no, Activision. So, you know, thoughts on the game really just, it's it's Crash Bandicoot. People yeah. are complaining that it's hard, which yeah. I think is really cute. Mm. <laughs> because, you know, those games were kind of always hard. Mm. But it's just when you're a kid, you can sit there and you've got better reflexes and stuff. And let's be honest, when was the last time we played like, a platform in a place like Crash? Like, really, like the only platform I've really played in the last 15 years has been a Mario, really. Like, mm-hmm. I'm trying to think, they don't really make it. I might play the old Sonic. Or like, Sonic. yeah, and the Sonic's dirt, so we won't even worry about that. Like, and again, two of the biggest Sonic fans you'll ever meet, and they're both like. Wait, wait, the Scott Colors is pretty good? Yeah, the fucking Wii, like, go away. Generations is pretty Generations weak. is the last good one. Yeah, well, like, last Sonic. That was 2010. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Boom and Rising. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Lost Worlds. Yeah. Yeah. Say a prayer for Sonic. Sonic may be okay there. But um, anyway, so um, your yeah, Crash is good. It plays nice. Um, definitely don't play the first one first. Mm. Like, biggest tip, play the second and the third. Yeah, see, I started one. Objectively good games. Because I thought, I'll play one, well, finish that, and then go two, three. Like, your first thing. <laughs> so uh, cute, yeah. And I'm like, oh. I was like, last time I was like, one is so annoying. Oh, I'll go one is one, of the, one is one of the hardest games I played as a kid, and now, even as a... 27 year old man with a computer games degree I'm just like fuck this yeah, is so hard. Started to, fuck plus this is hard. 2 is more of what I remember about yeah. Crash like the whole world and getting the crystal it's the most balanced like and stuff like that and obviously uh, 3 after that as well and I can remember the motorbike stages and Coco with the tiger oh, and stuff like that I mean 2, two is not an easy game I'll also mm-hmm. the later half of 2 like I've just done the 4th world yeah. um, was hard it was really hard, mm. you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, and I'm not mm. god at those games, but like, Crash Two has a really good pacing, has a has a good amount of secrets. Yeah. There isn't that many gimmicks. Like, you ride a polar bear, that's like the one gimmick. Yeah. Um, and you can fly. I think there's a jetpack in two. Mm. Um, but three really does suffer from the bikes handling like dick, mm. uh, and the jet ski. The planes are actually really fun. Um, and obviously the tiger levels are really fun. Three is easy. Like mm. three, I mean, I'd be confident they say that anyone that's never played it could beat three, hundred and two percent, probably in three or four hours. Mm. Like I reckon that's pretty doable. I doubt one that's easy. I'm going to just finish all the levels. And I the want the platinum and like, three and two. I want. But the surely that that would annoy you not having once. That would annoy me. If I got two and three, then I would be. I reckon I'll have been enough practice because the. Because the big thing they've done is that Crash controls the same in every game, yeah. you just have different moves. Yeah. So Crash jumps the same in 2 and 3 if he doesn't want, which was different. Like, definitely, the first one was completely different in the map, which is what I think people have a problem with, because the jumping is not yeah. as the level design. So I think if I can platinum 2 and 3, yeah. then I'll be good enough to beat 1. Yeah. But all I would want is Crash Team Racing, yeah. which they're going to make. Yeah, and they're most going to make Fire as well. And that's what I'm saying, is you wait until E3 next year. Yeah. There is going to be so many fat era remakes, mm. and I and I genuinely don't think it's going to be just PlayStation. I think you are going to see some fucking Nintendo remakes from the N sixty four. I think you're going to, see, which they have. I know they've done a lot already, but it's mm. not stopped Sony, so why would it stop Nintendo? Yeah. Plus, they could obviously like offer new kind of That's what I'm saying. Port is it three like, and three DS version already? Like if they could somehow H- HD the three DS version. Those games are so like dick. And well. Majora's Mask right. HD. So like, great. Are. If you could get Majora's Mask on your Switch in HD, you'd buy it. I'd buy it today. I don't like you. Yeah. But like, Why only for, over 40 Zelda games? Well, exactly. You can only do some more. He's finished two. <laughs> Definitely not finished the Oracle games. No. They're hard. I finished Minish They are hard. Um, but, um, That's like the only 2D one I finished. Minish Cat was my favourite 2D one. Yeah. He's just on a freak. But anyway, um, yeah, Crash. I don't really, again, it's another one where you have this like big plan. Mm. It's like, what can you really say? If you like Crash Bandicoot from the 90s, you're gonna like Crash Bandicoot now, mm. you know. And if you didn't play Crash Bandicoot in the nineties for thirty quid, mm. it's a pretty good deal. It's three good games. I think one is uh, is okay. I think one is like a mm. six or a seven out of ten. Yeah. Um, two is a nine. Like mm. two is actually legitimately a great game. Three probably seven or eight. Mm. Like they're great games. And again, PlayStation. I bitched about it oh, to 
nauseam about how PlayStation is the remake machine. Yeah. But then you see a remake like this and the Wipeout remake. And I don't, we can't judge the Final Fantasy XII one yet. Mm. But like, they're good games. Twelve won't be like right. Twelve, well, twelve was never a great game anyway. So, but like, the Wipeout collection. If you like Wipeout, that's an amazing collection. Yeah. Like the content in that in that collection is incredible. Crash Bandicoot. I mean, yeah, the Ratchet and Clank remake. Like I said before, is one of the best on the console. The Uncharted remakes. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna include Last of Us because it was basically a port. Well, I'd say it was Uncharted not, really one. Yeah. No, but Uncharted they actually changed some stuff. Whereas Last of Us was just up Oh yeah, because they changed one. Yeah, yeah, and, and I would say exactly the same for Halo Four mm. to Xbox. It's, it's just it's not changed. It's just up res. Mm. It runs at you know it runs at high frame rate or whatever. Mm. Um, so like I think nostalgia sells right now. I think people looked at Pokemon Go last year, yeah. which is why I think people stuff like Crash got made mm. because people are going, my God. That 90s generation, which is us, yeah. a 27, you know, but probably between the age of 25 and 30 right now, yeah. have disposable income. Like, me and you both work, you know, yeah. if, and we will buy. They remake Crash Bandicoot, they remake Spyro the Dragon, they remake um, Crash Croc, Team Croc Legend of Gobbos, Crash right. Team Racing, they remake Scythe and Filler, they remake Metal Gear Solid 1. I don't know if they did. Final Fantasy they 7. Did. Well, they, 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 they did. They remake Metal Gear Solid 1. They remake, it, space. They remake it for a console that sells. Um, like... Final Fantasy VII remake. Like I said to someone the other day, I was like, you think that people are hitting the fan about Crash? You fucking wait till Final Fantasy VII comes out. Yeah. And people will lose their minds. The only thing is, that's going to be like, because it's episodic, it's going to have. They haven't well. announced it's episodic yet, so we can't say it's they square. Well, they said that it was going to be episodic. There, there was an interview. Yeah. yeah we don't. Until, it, until it's like press release. Yeah, this is episode one. You know what I mean, this is. I wouldn't worry about it yet. Because they, they, one of the cause guys, after that, they also said, oh, now it's now be made on internal studio. Yeah. It was not an internal studio to begin with. Yeah. So. Yeah, but didn't one of the headlines of um Final Fantasy said that, that each episode is going to be the same length as for each for I think because the problem, the problem with this is it's a translated interview. Yeah. I think they probably did say something to that extent, but again, like I said, when it comes to Final Fantasy VII, all bets are off until we see it. Same yeah. with Shenmue Three. Yeah. All bets are off until we see something. Yeah, Shenmue Three, but this won't. Uh, my honestly won't be as popular. Shenmue Three, I think it's going to be really disappointing. I don't yeah, want it. Yeah, it will be bad. Yeah. I don't want it to be. I want them to remake one and two, Sega. Sega, stop making bad Sonic games. Yeah. Yeah. And do um, Jet Set Radio Future. Yeah. And then when you're done no, with that. You say you're making the bad Sonic games. <laughs> they uh, got. Uh, Sonic, sort of it's not even Sega, it's just Sonic games. Yeah, it's weird. Really, really Sega's really good, it's just fucking Sonic games suck. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, look at all the rubber studios. And then we're supposed to talk about Crash Bandicoot, but what? Yeah, you say, yeah, it's just like, weird, you know, like yeah, because the UQ studio makes. Like, and Atlas games. makes good games, um, Sports Interactive makes good games, um, the fucking. And the, what's the guys that do Total War? It's not Ensemble, it's the other one. Um, or is it Creative Ensemble? Assembly. Creative Assembly make great games. It's just like, great. Sega's own first party. When they used to be so good. Uh, but anyway, Crash Bandicoot, are you enjoying it? Yes. Are you going to beat them? Mm, yes. Are you going to fight them any of them? No. Because why, is, why don't you, Chris? Because you don't fight them hard games. <laughs> it's actually hard, hard. <laughs> yeah, it's actually hard. Uh, I, don't, yeah, I don't think they're that hard. I don't think they're that hard. Tim 3, I'll definitely finish one, I'm not sure about. I think it's weird, like, the Uncharted question, I've not finished three. I finished one, two, and then four came out, so I never went and yeah, went back I'm, to I'm it. Yeah, I'm exactly the same. I think it's going to be the same. I'm just going to skip one and play two, uh, play two See, and three. I, I, two and three is the ones I got most memory about. Yeah. Because obviously I was like slightly, you know, slightly older. I can remember them more. So it's mostly two, three, and I was just like, nah. Well, one, like one. I said to you, one's pacing is the problem. Yeah. Just that one is so hard. The first seven levels are so hard mm. that are like, you got one level that's like 20 seconds and one level that's four, four or five minutes. Mm. Like, at least in Crash 2 and 3, they're all kind of like the same length. Yeah, and I still need to finish Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't ever see me playing that. I mean, I've, I mean, I mean, I've, we'll do it. I mean, we need to do a podcast about my fucking love hate relationship with PlayStation, really. But like, yeah, because this year they, they've uh, done nothing for me this year. Yeah, right. see, this is the thing I was reading, not within really a six month like thing. Yeah, yeah, so far. Yeah. Like um Push were obviously their PlayStation site. They did their top ten games like so far this year. And it's like it's like play this especially PlayStation like that. Like Neo is in that list. I've not played it but no. you know thing is like Neo Automata I haven't played. Neo was in the um, Horizon, Horizon I've not played. Persona. It's only my own and I'm indifferent to it. It's like, which I'm devastated by by the way. Devastated by. I can't remember what was other than in their top ten but it's like I was top ten like six from PlayStation exclusives, and it's like. Can you name the Xbox exclusive that came out this year? Halo Wars Two. Okay. Yeah. Do you know anyone's played it? No. No one. Okay. I want to play it, but it's just like it's one of those games that it's not a console RTS is not something that you can compare to yeah. Crash Bandicoot. 
Yeah. You know, and for me, like PlayStation hasn't had that great a year for me because it's for me, just for what I want to play. Yeah. They just haven't put out stuff that I want to play. The only thing is, I know you'd like Nier because you don't play Nier. Uh, Nier, I would probably get. The problem is, it came out soon enough time to switch. Yeah. Um, Horizon. This, Horizon I'm not playing. And it. Horizon, it's like this Horizon is... or Zelda. Mm, it's gonna be Zelda because my girlfriend buys Zelda. I actually prefer. Horizon. Yeah, but you, you, you like, and the thing about Horizon it is the PlayStation game. Mm. Everything in that game, yeah. what we what we talked about earlier, yeah. is the PlayStation yeah. game. The story's really good. The biggest, Ashley, pro- the biggest really problem good. with Hello, it, Hello. Why, why would I not enjoy it? What's the one thing I hate about games now? It's open world. Yeah. I hate open world games. Yeah, but there's like... Same... Like Zelda, I, I think Zelda, I mean, played like 10 hours. Like my girlfriend's it like seemed, Even though it's open world, it seems sort of linear. But it's because I'm mostly following the story. Yeah, and like I, so that's what I'm really enjoying about Crash. Is because Crash is it's straight up old school. You do a level like I what I've been doing because I've played it since I, I go it Friday. Um, was I go Friday? I've got Saturday, sorry. And I've played it every day since. And what I'll do is I'll play. I thought the obvious would be Crash. It's fine. So I'll play a couple of games, a couple of um levels, yeah. and then I can turn it off, <laughs> and then I can come back to it later. And that's what I've missed mm-hmm. from gaming. And that's why generally speaking, I play on the multiplayer games on the Xbox. Yes. Because that is a one and done kind of thing. Mm-hmm. That's why Rocket League is so good. Mm-hmm. And then on, on Nintendo, because Nintendo with Nintendo, they have their Mario Kart, so they have their games. Stuff like that. Um, Mike Gumball, you can do a level and turn it off. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, and um, what was the other one I really liked? Fuck. I played it on launch. It's the side scrolling shoot em up. Plus, plus the shimmer? No, it's not Pixel Art. It's going to annoy me now. Chat, no. You all know, if you, you the Janema guys played it as well, I can't remember. But that one, with that game, whatever it was called, yeah. I thought they do a level yeah. kind of game. And I just, open world, man. Like, I, like I really want to play yeah. The Witcher, and I really want to play Horizon. And... It's sort of completely different. I've seen more linear compared to the, them from what I played. Yeah, I think, I was the, saying, I think uh, the story, I, I, was... I think the actual move, what I mean by open world is that it's not levels. You have to, like, move from camp to camp. Yeah, and yeah you do have to. Assassin's Creed. You have, to go, stuff you have to go get your um, little robot dinosaur. Exactly. Robot and I'm like, no. Game. Like do one. That's not what I want. That's not. That's not what I want. Yeah. yeah, I still think you would enjoy it, and you would enjoy uh, Neo. Or definitely enjoy Neo because you enjoy Ben now. Yeah, yeah, Neo. It's from one of my favorite games. Um, Neo, you wouldn't enjoy. I, 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 there is a video on my channel of me playing Neo. I'm, I, I'm I literally really the worst at it. Um, so. Persona, you, I think, would play it more. Persona was at the chat we'll have. It's because of Persona. And the that. other excuse I could think of was in that list was Yakuza Zero. Um, Which I think you would enjoy, and I would enjoy. I own that game, and I'm not playing that game. I've played with most of the previous Yakuza games yeah. on PS3, and yeah. I think PS2, yeah. but probably PS3, but um, it's just the wrong time for that game to come out. It really. came out like February. It used, it used to be coming out like last year or next year. There is one coming this year. I was Kiwami's coming, yeah. isn't it? And Yakuza 6 coming next year. My god. <laughs> My god, Sega. People aren't going to get burned out that tall. No, Those games like, are all kind of the same as well. Yeah, you didn't have one for years, and now it's only yeah. like three on rack. But um, five was like two years ago. But yeah, we're, we're getting to the rambling point now. But that was that was yeah that was E3. Um, that was Crash Bandicoot. Um, we briefly talked about the Snares collection thing. That's come. Kind of, we we did a whole podcast about what we what we would do. So there's no point for us to talk about here. And obviously, the Chris is a scumbag for buying two. So that's what we all know. Yeah. If you can't get one, it's all Chris Pengley's fault. So please follow him at Massive Dust to send him abuse. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, that's a bit of a rambled... It's probably one of our longest podcasts for a while, actually, but... Mm. Yeah, I think that's really us done for now. Yeah. Someone's cooking a barbecue and pumping up a... What I can only presume to be a fucking swimming pool in my garden. That's what mm. I can hear right now, so... I think we're going to leave it there, Chris. Yeah. Well, thank you all for listening. Uh, and we you. will be back in some point in probably August. Yeah. And we'll talk about how Chris has bought another Xbox One. So... <laughs> I, I do sort of plan to buy one because I, I want a 4K player... And the Xbox One X is the cheapest 4K player on the market. So that's actually the like, second like, really good thing. The Xbox is a bit like the PS2 and a bit like the PS3. I bought PS2 because I want I got because I want the DVD player and I had the PS1. And I want the PS3 because, you know, PlayStation games. But I had a Blu-ray player and I like, HD TV. The the story, the moral of the story is that Chris will buy everything and anything. There's no there's no <laughs> yeah, discrimination. But I, no, but I, Chris what, will buy another Jaguar at some point. Yeah, I want I basically I want a year HD player. Then you should get an Xbox One S. Yeah, that's then, what I'm actually going to do. But then it kind of annoyed me because the like the One X is like 200 pounds more. You, you said you, you've already made your own argument. You're not going to buy any games for it. And yeah. if you're going to buy games for it, just play them. Yes, mm. yeah. be fine. Anyway, um, thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.